just hope that it can progress just that much better in the next 15 or 20 for the young fellas. One of this week's missing teams, Manitoba's Kerry Burtnick rink, lost the Olympic trials in December. Alberta's Kevin Martin represents Canada starting Monday. Lukowicz will face Barry Tall. Hello, Manitoba. Welcome back to Nipawa and the Yellowhead Center and Global's continuing coverage of this 2002 Safeway Select Provincial Men's Curling Championship. Two B-side semifinal games tonight. Our cameras will be covering both, but we'll focus in a little more on the game between Ron Goche and James Kirkness. And helping us once again this year in our telecast is Kathy Goche. Kathy, tell us about the game plan for the man that we think you know very well. <laughs> we hope you do. Ron Goche. Well, I do indeed. I think that for Ron, there are three keys to victory tonight. The first one is that he plays very hard when he has last rock, but he builds his arsenal around his ability to draw to the lid when he needs to. He's got to make those big draws. They've missed a lot of shots this week when they have got in trouble by miscalling doubles. They got to make those calls tonight. And thirdly, Joe, they got to stick to their game plan. What has gotten to this to that this far has been their aggressive style of play to take it to teams and make teams make the big shots. Can't be tentative at all tonight. And Ron Goethe, as you could tell, already has his game face on for this game this evening. Don Finkbeiner, tell us about James Kirkness and uh, how he has to bounce back tonight after this afternoon. Well, that's right. He does have to bounce back. He lost a tough game against Mark Lukowicz this afternoon here, and he has to really play a little conservatively at the start here to maybe get the emotions under control to make sure his team has got their heads into the game. But also, he's got to be very careful because I think Ronnie Goche is going to go right at him, so he's got to be prepared to mix it up quite soon in the game. Do you think it's important for Goche to go after Kirkness early? I would think so. Ronnie's a fairly aggressive curler in the first place, and, and uh, so, so uh, Kirkness has to be aware of that, but he also has to make sure he's still in the game, though. Like He can't gamble early too early, too, and blow, blow the game right open, too. Well, all right, it is James Kirkness and Ron Goche, Mark Lukowicz and Barry Tall. It's B-side semi-final action night in the 2002 Safeway Select. When it comes to farm fresh ideas, Granny's knows best. From our family to your family, Granny's Manitoba grown quality chicken and turkey. Farm fresh taste and country goodness, Granny's. They have to move in perfect unison, and when they do, something incredible happens. There's a bond, a trust that allows them to do together much more than one person can. It's the same between Manitoba Blue Cross and you. We work in unison to offer Manitobans the health care coverage that gives you the benefits you need most. Because we believe that good health is based on great teamwork. Manitoba Blue Cross, the color of caring. $7.5 million of anything is a lot. $7.5 million is Friday's Lotto Super 7. It's a whack of cash. Where can you find maximum value and great taste? Sweet! Sweet! With over 30 Manitoba locations in towns and cities large and small. Hurry! Hurry home! We're your treated just like family and made to feel at home. Hurry! Hurry! Yep! Chicken Shack, serving up fresh, wholesome meals that always hit the spot. Come on in, the Chicken Shack, we're cooking up something good for you. As morning breaks in communities all across Canada, Robbins helps you start your day with our special blend coffee. A full-bodied brew, guaranteed fresh on the first taste, or we'll replace it. And Robbins mealtime combos and freshly prepared subs are welcome anytime. At work or at play. You're part of your community. You always get a break at Robbins. In turbulent times, it's good to know you can get ahead by saving on taxes. Save on taxes now by investing in the Crocus Investment Fund. 
Manitoba's 100% RRSP eligible fund. As Manitoba's largest and most successful venture capital fund, the Crocus Fund has invested $125 million in 60 Manitoba businesses. Find out more about the Crocus Advantage today. When it comes to farm fresh ideas, Granny's knows best. From our family to your family. Granny's Manitoba grown quality chicken and turkey. Farm fresh taste and country goodness. Granny's. We've had world class ice all week. What that means for the curlers is consistency, but what it also means is a great finish. Three and a half, getting to four feet today. It was pretty to watch. What is also interesting is around the corner guards, whether you're playing from the inside out or the outside in, not a problem. Lots and lots of finish. Where we are seeing the curlers have a little bit of difficulty is when you play a regular hit, about eight inches, not a problem. When you're playing the run back, you want to drive it straight back, you're taking about middle of the rock. You underthrow it a little bit, you're going by this way. And if you overthrow it, it's going to float a little bit, leaving this one there, and no points for you. Reading the Ice is brought to you by Granny's Poultry, Manitoba-grown quality and freshness, and by Manitoba Blue Cross, the color of caring. And as you can see, this B-side semifinal game is already underway. And, is with, and if you were with us earlier this afternoon, already noticing a difference in this game as there are lots of rocks already in play. Take a look at uh, Team Kirkness, A.J. Girardin at lead, Dean Klippenstein at second, Travis Graham the third, and of course, Kirkness is your skip. For Team Goche, Grant Misselbacher leads it off. Dave Soterik is at second, Chris Fulcher at third, and the skip course Ron Goche and this team curls out of the Deer Lodge curling club. They both do club mates in fact Deer Lodge as this was Valley oh. Road well represented at this event. Throw. Right. We did say that it was a bit of a surprise this afternoon our game with James Kirkness we had seen him play very aggressive we'd seen him throw corner guards every time someone came in the house early felt that he was very tentative and sometimes in an a final game you can play more afraid of losing it than really wanting to win it and i think that that can make a difference tonight's game just from the first couple of rocks that we've seen in play both skips playing to win it because neither one of them has any route to maneuver the loser goes home and in this first end james kirkness does have the advantage of last rock Got ahead thin, James. Oh. Oh. Yep. Yeah. This is the only competition in curling still in Manitoba that does not use a round robin format where last rock and colors are assigned. Here the colors are assigned. It's a general rule of thumb. If your name is on the top of the draw, as you read the official draw, you threw red. And if you were second or underneath it, you threw yellow. That continues through. And the only time that there's an advantage of last rock or color or any choice allowed now wow. goes to Mark Lukowicz when he plays tomorrow for having one A-side. This game determined by the traditional coin toss, won by the Kirkness team. So Tarek with the nose hit, and now Goche lies one. Well, as I mentioned earlier about uh, the Kirkness team settling in, it's kind of a nice break for them winning the flip. You know, when you get last rock in the first stand, that's always good. I'm not sure. Like, I don't think it's jitters or anything like that. I just think that, you know, they it's lost nice the top one. Well, and it uh, makes the road a little, uh, little harder after that tough loss. But they have to settle into the game as quickly as possible. But it may take an end or two. But they have to ensure themselves getting mentally into this game. Kirkness now lies two. <coughs> Very good split early in the end by the second man, Dean Klippenstein. And a rock that was tight to the house. He split it well. That's why Kirkness now lies two. We're all in the rings. Well, keep it there if you can. Still like this? Yeah, I know. The third, Chris Fulcher. Chris, an A finalist in 1994. And when he played with Dale Dugat, that was the year Dave Smith won. He also got to the semis wow. with Dugat in 1993. So not a first time competitor by any means. And of course, was with Ron in 97 when they lost the BC, the BC team. No, they did not lose the BC team. They lost the B final. 
Actually, Chris, in his own right, was quite a successful skip. He also. was indeed. In fact, Chris is the reason that this team, well, along with the other two yeah. members of the team, got here. Ron was uh, not successful in, in winning their zone. He had to leave the province and the country for business reasons. And so Chris Fulcher, after 6-0 in the MCA, moved to the helm and skipped the team and brought in Barry Sigurdsson, a former colleague of Chris's, and they went on to win the MCA Grand Aggregate and the Safeway Lucerne event, and that's why they're here. So Ronnie's actually lucky to be back on he's this He's pretty team. much yeah. on a free <laughs> ticket here, Don. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, despite your bias. No, no, just He's on a free just ticket. Kidding. Travis Graham won't be able to get All by right. the guard. Thought it was heavy when I let it go, you said. No, no, I said it was perfect. Uh, I, I don't like to, to get into this too early, but there's a classic example of almost shifting the blame right off the bat, you know. So that's what I talked about, about the emotions and that. You know, he just said, well, yeah, I thought it was heavy, you know, that kind of thing too. So, you know, it's just a little irritated uh, very, very quickly into this game. So we'll have to watch for, for that. Yep, yep. Whoa, whoa. We talked about yeah. that at the the afternoon show ah. that this, the biggest disadvantage in this whole event goes to the team, which happens to be Kirkness tonight, because you go the farthest in the biggest game, which was the A-side final. And if you win it for Mark Lukowicz, they're going to be intense out there, but a little bit looser tonight. For James and the team, they were one win away from having a hand on the trophy, and now their back's against the wall. they got to win a bunch. And they're the only team on this draw tonight that comes into this draw with Off a loss. loss. Yeah, that's, good. that's an excellent point. When you're talking about momentum, yeah, excellent. for Travis Graham. Stay with it. No! Yep! Yes! Hard! Ah! Quick! 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 Looking for the roll. Oh, oh. Great job. Made a nice one. Made up for the first one. Yeah, that's a great, great shot. Nice bounce back on that one. Thanks. That worked all right. What's that? That worked all right. She rolled a little farther. Yeah. Well, I wasn't kind of, AJ was taking the roll, so. First one, we, we got to keep a broom on the ice. Well, they, they yelled heavy when I let it go. In. They're saying they didn't, but. Well, I, you had heavy and you had tons of weight. Why? That wasn't heavy. Though. Oh, I know. <laughs> I'm saying they, they yelled heavy. Didn't look that heavy. Yeah. Actually, it didn't have, it ended up having barely. Well, they yelled with three quarters. Are the beauty of having microphones on the team. <laughs> the first rock of the first end for Ron Goche. Talked about it in the first end. The simple game that you play. Sometimes you get wide open hits and draws. He's got a run back. And he's got it. Will it stay in the rings? And it'll great bite. Shot. It is a great shot because if he wasn't going to stick right behind there, he'd far prefer it to roll way over in the open than just peek I outside. I knew that he had a little bit up. I thought it was fine. I thought it would was finished a little bit at the end. Shoot. <laughs> Looks good from here. You can see it's just a little bit on the outside, so they anticipate now. We talked about making those judgments calls early, thinking it's going to finish a little harder. It doesn't. You see it hits it a little too thin. Needed to curl a little bit more for the straight back. James, James yeah, he's just ignoring, ignoring this. Rock. Yeah, I'm going to go in behind here. An aggressive call? Yes, In actually, the first end? Yeah. That can be a little tricky in the first end. you got to make sure. you got This is, I consider this a little, perhaps a little bit of a gamble. But if he doesn't, then Ronnie comes in behind, too. If he goes after that back one. Keep a broom on unless it's through, guys. Yep, yep. Hard! Broom, broom, broom. Line's broom. great. Stay with it. Yep, yep. Hard! Quick! Broom! Line's great, guys. You got to move. Yes. Yep, far. 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 Great shot, DJ. Come on, hard. Okay, nice throw. I didn't uh, snap didn't in there too much. No, as much as looked, we would have uh, expected. Yeah, exactly. Ah. Oh, you threw it nice. That's the main thing. What? You threw it really nice. It looked good. Didn't get that same curl you did. No. Might pick, maybe. Must have. Let's fix that. Pop. 
good conversation by the Kirkness team. Clearly confusion on James' face, and quite frankly with us as well, not sure why it didn't curl as much as they had anticipated that it would. Get it by the guard. Hard, guys, real hard. Oh, hard, it's going to be tight. Right up, right up, right up, right up. Just Whoa, by. Great shot. <laughs> Gautre lies too. Nice sleeping, guys. Great sweeping on that part to get that rock by. It looked like he was either threw it under a little bit what he anticipated because if there wasn't much finish for Kirkness's team, you can see this rock as it gets closer to the line really going. More shot. Yeah, actually, it looked like it was cutting across. Easy. It looked like it was going to tick the guard here, yeah, but exactly no what you said with Kirkness's shot, both of them just stayed out there. But this is what I talked about. You know, Kirkness has to be careful right off the bat. You got to, you don't want to start getting down quickly in the game. You want to keep the game very, very close at the start, and then get into it uh, because they, they still have the tendency. They're a young team. The tendency to think about the loss that they had uh, against Lukic so close and yet so far. Easy hit, guys. It's a phrase you'll hear a lot from yeah. James Kirkness. Oh, easy oh. hit. Clean it. Clean. Whoa. Oh. Oh. Staying out on him a bit. It's yeah, actually straightened out there, Kathy. It did straighten out a little bit. I'm not sure if he just let it go back a little bit, but he's probably fine. It's hard to tell. Shot. One yellow. Looks like one yellow from this, but as Joe said earlier, it's hard because our cameras are not perfectly over the sheet because of the roof, so they'll measure. They'll measure. That's on blind, but it looks pretty that close to me. Like yellow. I think it's Well, I guess we'll find out. Head official for this game is Dave Peterson. It's not only for this game, but for this event. Dave is uh, no stranger to national competition, has been doing national Scott championships and Briars for years. So at all levels, Manitoba curlers are in good hands. Uh, you heard 92, that's on the gauge. Yeah. Well, that's close. Yeah, it is close. <laughs> It is one for yellow, one for Goche, yep. and a steal in the first end. Plus. So this B-side semifinal, Ron Goche has taken the lead on James Kirkness, one nothing. The Safeway Select is brought to you in part by Chicken Chef Family Restaurants. Real quality, real value, real selection, made in Manitoba. And by Lotto Super 7. What's your dream? Now you can spend less time copying and more time doing business thanks to a connected digital office. Yes, Icon! Finally, an efficient copy center that can actually make a CFO happy. Yes, Icon! Imagine printing 1,500 bound manuals in 10 different cities at the last minute. Yes, ICON! When it comes to communicating any kind of business information, imagine what ICON can do for you. In April 2003, they will travel across the globe to the center of the curling universe to renew an annual rivalry known as the Ford World Curling Championships. Can you hear it? Can you feel it coming on? A spirit touching us all together in Winnipeg. And this is where the world is one. 
Carl German was forced to give up his berth in the 2002 Safeway Select, but the Zone 3 winner from East St. Paul wasn't complaining about having to relinquish his spot at this year's Select. The 50-year-old German isn't in Nipwa because he also captured the Strathcona Senior Men's Provincial Championship. And this week, he's representing Manitoba in St. Thomas, Ontario at the Canadian Senior Men's Championship. German, in his first year of eligibility for the seniors, was supported by third Ray Fillion, second Ray McDougall, and lead Brian Copeland. The East St. Paul foursome were undefeated in the senior provincials, finishing with a 9-0 record. Champions is brought to you by Pepsi-Cola, the joy of Pepsi. That other B-side semifinal game, Barry Tall and Mark Lukowicz. Barry Tall gets off to the kind of start we've been seeing from him all week. As he draws into the forefoot for two. And there's a close look at Barry Tall from Swan River. Two teams there that have never been to the weekend before going head to head. Oh, it's great. It's interesting. I was thinking about that feature that we just showed you with Carl German. That makes two years in a row that a Manitoba man, Skip, has had to forfeit their spot into the select, but great things have happened. We think about young Mike McEwen and his team, who last year, in their last year of junior eligibility, also won the Safeway Select berth, but had to give that up when they won the junior men's title and went on to the Canadians. They lost the Canadian final. Carl German had to give up his spot personally. The rest of his team played Skip by Peter Pruden this week because he was in the senior men's Canadians and we know that tomorrow Carl will play Ontario Bob Fidosa for the right to represent Canada at a modified version of the very first world senior championships which will be played in Bismarck along with the other worlds this year here's how James Kirkness got to this evening's semi-final game started with victories over to Doric and Van Comer. Lost to Barry Tall in a close one. Back with wins over Newfeld and Barry Tall, and then lost this afternoon, as you saw, to Mark Lukowicz. Okay, just fine. Again, it's a double <coughs> knockout. Double knockout. Ron Goche won three straight games to qualify for the championship round. Then lost his first game, that would have been last night, to James Kirkness. Bounced back with victories today over Mike McEwen and Greg McGibbon. Line's good! Let's <coughs> go for tight, I think. Where is he? He's tight. Dave's hey. wife Paula is here in the crowd. She wanted to yeah. say hello to their two yeah. young children at home, Reed and Bryn, being taken care of by Dave's mom and dad, Bill and Irene Satara. And a big thanks. Uh, I taught him nothing. <laughs> I taught him nothing. The famous Gauthier yell, you didn't teach him that, I guess. So. <laughs> he's, uh, he's quite a character to watch, actually. I, I sort of analogy is, is like a Vic Peters in a way perhaps a little louder, but uh, he wears his emotion on his sleeve, and he's, he's quite quite an entertaining guy to watch curl. He's a great curler, but he is, he's great fun to watch also. Whoa. Very, very Whoa. emotional. Yep. Ah. Got that guard. We talked earlier about how tough it is to place a guard on really curling ice. Great sweeping to get that shot by, and a very nice shot indeed. Gets a bit of a roll. My side is just raw. Robin. Good shot by Dean. Most of his acclamations come from the province of Saskatchewan, where he was a two-time provincial junior champion, and third, most recently, for Dubroka. Yep. Dave Zaterek. Hard! 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 Okay. Nose hit a bit of an inside roll. That's moving back up above the T line, allowing to be able to get that hit and roll.
Normal. Oh. Regular. Oh. Yep. Arch. Quick. Arch. Whoa. 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 Oh. Oh. Out of block. Good shot. Got a nice little kickback roll in there yeah. just at the end. There looked like it was going to roll out the other side a little bit, but uh, a nice, uh, nice little break at the end there for the Kirkness team. Was that Plan B? Was the plan not to go behind the red card? <laughs> yeah, you're right. It was Plan B. It's a good call, though. Lots of times when your players throw the rock, you have to make, and that's what we talked about earlier, the abilities of some of the thirds in this field. We talked about Doug Harrison. We talked about the experience of making those judgments really early about whether what you had initially planned to play is going to work or whether option B, C, or D is what's likely to happen, and so take advantage of it. It's not pool. You don't have to call the shots. You just have to make best use of them that you can. All the way up, hard. A little light here, but perfect line. Sweet, guys. Nice sweeping, guys. Okay, Fulz. Just about, oh, maybe uh, six feet oh, light and weight. Yeah. Still not a bad Boy, shot. come here. I like going around all of it. <laughs> we hang it a little and put up a double. Yeah, but if, but if we corner the top yellow one, that's good too. You like here? Sure. What are we heard the here? concern from AJ that if Travis's initial reaction was to play around that guard, get back on top of that stone that's in the forefoot, AJ's concern is that if it didn't curl as much as they had hoped and it stayed out a little bit, they might give yep. the Goche Lots team the out by the double, room. electing to Red play off. the. Line Split can. the house. Line They've can. also got that yeah. corner guard, so bearing this one would put them in a real good Whoa, shape. Whoa. Stay with it. Whoa. Gotta go hard at the end. They want to make sure they get it back, though. Whoa. Whoa. Yes! 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 Great shot. That a boy. That is an excellent shot. <coughs> Just above the T line. Doesn't set up any sort of double. Kirkness. Hey, there's now lies there's two. For another four behind there yet. There is plenty of room to get in, in there where the ice is swinging, although we saw it on the other end, not cutting so much, coming in towards the center, which is the first time that we've seen that. And, and it most may of the time just it does. be the first end until some of the initial pebble wears down. We may see more finish as the game progresses. But with that guard being so long and it actually not being 100% Barry, there's lots of room. It's a question of where to put the broom in the right way. Oh, if you can. That's good. Oh, oh. oh. Room, room. A lot of weight. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Here it comes now. They whoa. gotta stay with it. Freeze it. Yeah! Ah! All right, guys. Oh, they waited too long on that. They should have been nice right brick. on that. It's good brick. When it passed that guard, as soon as it got to that guard, they had to be on it. Just judge them. That's, nice that's basically up to the sweepers. They have to do that. Because that died very quickly. But you could sense Can't it. Can't see enough for that double. Half? We just throw easy. No, you can't make it. What? Interesting. Well, interesting guard. call there. You can run the guard. Well, how will we play that? And if we t take the guard, we take the guard. I don't think this is possible. That's where I can see. You're running it in this way. There's no way. You can't, you can't double across the face. I'm not thinking that way. I don't think you're right. You're okay. Whatever you want, James, doesn't matter. Well, you either you can play a pick or you just peel the guard. What's that, sorry? No, he'll probably run his yellow Let's one in. Pick that one. Try picking it. Pick? I like peeling. Okay. Lots of discussion. The, uh, the shots that the Travis was looking at a lot was to play the double off the two yellow stones belonging to the Goche team in the house. James quite convinced that the shot wasn't there. AJ supported him in that. Yeah. The way those shots are lined up with the guard, it wasn't there. James doesn't like to get too fancy. He's got Last Rock. He's well set up to score a couple of points. The only whoa, risk whoa, for him whoa, is with his guard, whoa, and that's why he's asking whoa, whoa. Travis to remove it. Whoa. What he doesn't want to do is remove his other red one. Oh that's fine. 
All right. It didn't move much. Slight hit. Slight hit. Ron's looking at the raise. Just touch on the high side. You want to, you're planning to move it, eh? Yeah. Normal weight. So he's just trying to uh, raise this shot straight back on that one and possibly roll in here. Ron, the proud father of two perfect children, Gaetan and Jacques, who I'm sure are watching. I contributed to that gene pool. Wow. And a big thank you to Val awesome. Robinson, wow. really great friend of ours who has moved into our house for the weekend right so that Ron could play and right right I could be off. here as well. Right right well, that's not a good shot from at all. He, uh, he had to get that rock out of there. It's the worst thing that could have happened for him. James Kirk just makes his way to the other end of the ice. Just bring you up to date quickly on the other B side semifinal game. Mark Lukwich in second looked to be poised to pick up at least a pair, but is now with his first rock at the end, set himself up that potentially Barry Tall could double off both his stones and be sitting three. May even be four, Joe. It's hard to tell if that yellow one, as you look at, as you looked at the screen, was biting or not, given our angle. He makes the yep. double and he sticks. It could be oh, oh, for four. Fire! Fire! The last whoa, rock whoa, 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 does clean, belong to Luke. Clean, clean it, clean it, age. Nice shot, James. By the way, and in this game, James Kirkness now lies three. Ah, I would like to stay there. Well, get, get shot nice off. Well, I know, but we got to keep cleaning it, though, right? Yeah. Barry Tall did not make the double. You can't just let it go. Wow. Quarter? Is it a quarter? Quarter, yeah. No more. Quarter or less, wanting to redirect that top red one. Straight double. Yeah. Looking at across the house double on this one. And if it cuts too much, he can double off the back one too if he bends in the call. And Whoa. the reason, of course, he's not playing the other Whoa. one is that he wouldn't yeah. have shot. Whoa! 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 Yeah! Yes! Whoa! 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 He's got one. Great shot. He's got two and stays behind the guard. Oh, perfect shot. What a great shot because that, uh, I don't know, James can get at it. Uh, it Maybe a little bit showing, but it's such a dangerous shot. Just the run back, I think, yeah. is the best shot yeah. for James. The shooter in. Game saver for Ronnie. AJ says go. Great shot for sure. He makes the double. Live shot and buried. This? Interesting there. I'm not sure if you caught it, but you saw that Hello, James was trying to put the ice down. Travis turned over to look at what was happening over in the Lukowicz team and then had to ask James where to put the broom. It's a little bit about concentration. Well, like we talked about, you got to make sure your head's in the game. He's only got one game to worry about, and he's on the sheet that it's being played. If he doesn't, he may have no problem watching <laughs> the games from here on in. That was it. That was a heck of a shot of Ronnie's though. Yeah, that's that's uh, an end saver. Benjamin James does here. Oh. Oh. Yep. Whoa. 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 Yep. Yep. Yeah. Oh. 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 oh, great shot. Well, I got the two. That was plan B and yeah. C yes. there. Yeah, exactly. But the end result is what James Kirkness desired. He picks up a pair in two and has taken the lead in this B-side semifinal 2-1 over Ron Goche.
On February 23rd, a whole new galaxy of stars will appear in Brandon, and prime viewing locations are going fast. Scott Tournament of Hearts single-day passes are just $30. Or pick up a voucher at Safeway and redeem it only at Ticketmaster in Brandon for an $8 saving. And remember, your ticket also gives you free admission to the renowned Heartstop Lounge. For non-stop fun, don't miss the Scott Tournament of Hearts. Where stars are born today. What does it take to excel? It takes hard work. It takes dedication, determination, commitment. You give it your all. Be proud of your athletes. We are. Manitoba Blue Cross, the color of caring. The Safeway Select Men's Provincial Curling Championship is brought to you in part by Granny's Poultry, Manitoba-grown quality and freshness, and by Manitoba Blue Cross, the color of caring. Where can you find maximum value and great taste? Sweet! Sweet! With over 30 Manitoba locations in towns and cities large and small. Hurry! Hurry on! Where you're treated just like family and made to feel at home. Hurry, hurry, yep! Chicken Shack, serving up fresh, wholesome meals that always hit the spot. Come on in, the Chicken Shack. We're cooking up something good for you. Promotional considerations provided by Hertz Equipment Rentals, located at 1600 Gamble Place in Winnipeg. In that other B-side semifinal game, Mark Lukowicz, very tall. This is the final rock of the second end, and it was a delicate little tap back played by Mark Lukowicz. He has to just push that yellow stone far enough for his deuce, and that game is tied at two. For the Lukowicz team, they're going to want to do all those things right. They don't want to just let this game slide tonight. The best way to keep winning is that winning breeds winning. And those are great yep. shots like Mark that they're going to need tomorrow to win this championship. Well, that was a great shot for right because after giving up a deuce in the first end, you know, you can see them did a little bit down there. They're a little emotional there. And then to come back with a deuce is, is a great, uh, great thing for them. Now they're back into the game mentally. Need more? I'll turn draw. A little bit of room. Wait only. Okay. It's not bad. Okay. Wait for it. Yep. Hooray! Oh, wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. Boy. Not a boy, Grant. Nice brick. Hi, I'm Grant Nisselbacher. I live in Winnipeg. I farm and I also own GFN golf cart rentals. Lots around. He does indeed. The F stands for Fuzzy the Cat and the N stands for his partner, Nadine Lumsden. What's line? Hard! Nothing magic, but. Hard line! A good side line. Hard! 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 Right up! Right up! Hard, 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 hard! Hard, 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 hard! Shot, AJ. Nice throw. Hi, I'm AJ Girardin from LaSalle, Manitoba, and I'm a senior field service representative for Phillips Medical Systems. And you will hear a drum throughout this game that is played by his partner, Lynn, who's the lone drummer girl. I was going to say boy, but I guess that's not very fair. Last year. So right now this end shapes up that we suspect there'll be a lot of rocks in play. Yeah, it's a great start for that. That's right. Get it there. Here they're talking about the weight as they're coming down the ice. You can hear Chris Whoa. talking about it being a little right light. Oh, that's good. Nice brick, man. <laughs> tap. tap. 
both of these skips have uh, done a fair amount of traveling and playing on World Curling Tour, Manitoba Curling Tour events over the years, and so lots of rocks is something that they're comfortable with. Oh, good. Watch this shot. This is what we saw the last time down. It didn't finish yeah, it again. We'll just see how, it, how it's if it's changed. Yeah, tighten a little. Hard. Well, it's going to go because he was tight. Yeah. But there was Hard. almost a streak there, Don, that we yeah. saw rocks would Hard sort of straighten line. out and not finish. Hard for line. Hard, guys. Hard. Yeah, it's diving Hard now. Line. Look at that. He's on the guard. All right. That's All right. fine. A little light. He was, yeah. he certainly wasn't heavy, and he said he was, or someone said that he was a little bit tight letting go, well, so that could explain that. that. It's a pretty good shot, picks the red off, doesn't it? Regular, right on the nose. Starting to lose his voice there a little bit, with the sounds of things. He is yelling, takes its toll. Hi, I'm Dave Soteric. I live in Winnipeg and I work for Asante Asset Management. A little frustrated there. Had they managed to keep that rock a little bit straighter, he would have been able to run it straight back. You can see the frustration. It just overcurled. Now, to not look so disgusted, Dave, you also got a little bit of a break in that you moved bumper? that Yellowstone into the house. But he's opened up the middle, though. That's that's the problem there, too. They had it nicely set up for himself, but now he's opened it up. Easy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Easy. Whoa. Easy. Yep. Hard. Hurry. Hurry. Quick. Hard. All right. We're getting a lot of option B, C's, and D's in this one. Boy, they're uh, just just off. I don't understand that at all. Hi, I'm Dean Klippenstein from Verdon, Manitoba. I work for Louis Dreyfus, and I'm the senior grain coordinator. He's going to go. He's going to go in on top of our yellow one with the crease. So. Okay, let's play bomb. Well, we want to play hack. He's going to make a shot. Uh, hack's better. You like that hack? I like hack better than both. Sure. Dave Soteric in the select with a couple of other skips played for Pat Spiring in 1999. Larry Knowles in 1998. Yep. Yeah. Whoa, whoa. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ah. I mean, Ronnie thought that would cut a little bit near the end there. He's trying to hit the roll over to that side because he knew it wasn't going to come across the face of the rock at all, but yeah. he's trying to call that roll, but it looked like it was coming and then it sort of straightened out around the hog line. <coughs> it's much heavier than half, too, but pretty close. It's all right. Just about. I thought it was going to break hard at the end, too. I see, all that, see? James? I see all of it, just about. Okay. Yeah. James Kirkton is asking for the hit and roll. I think it's a good call on Travis's part. Sometimes for James in the house, not sure Whoa. how much they can see. And the big Whoa. risk factor right that we on. talked about in reading the ice yep. is not the regular yep. hit weight, it's the really Whoa. big weight or the in-between weights yes. because yes. they do such Whoa. different things. This is the best kind of weight to be able to play control. Yeah, they misjudged that again. Just, it's very tricky to, to call those hits and rolls. They're both having a little bit of trouble with it. They seem to be straightening out a little bit at the end. Just all of it. Okay. Hi, I'm Travis Graham from Winnipeg, Manitoba. I work at Drum McCall Steel. I'm a lead hand. First rock of this third end for Chris Fulcher. Stay close. Yep. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yep. Whoa. Yep. Hurry. Whoa. Hi, boy. Hi, 
Hi, my name is Chris Fulcher. I'm the Chief Administrative Officer for the Rural Municipality of Headingley, and I live in Stonewall, Manitoba. Straight back. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I Good do. job Firm by right Chris, right. but a chance to get out of this want, with that double. And that's what he's asking from Travis. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, yep, yep. Whoa, whoa, yeah, yep. Hard, hard, hard. Hard, James. Hard, James. Hard. James. hard. This one's digging in. That was a, that's a tough call. That'd be really tough to make a shot like that and still roll in and that. It's such a fine doubler. And he leaves the shooter in a really good spot. It's in the house, right in front of the forefoot. I don't like this one here. I can't roll on. Okay, but that's a whole wall of rocks he can raise that behind. What? Come and have a look at it. Yeah, it's a whole wall of rocks. We can just bump that behind, and they're they're hooked. We can't raise them. Okay. I don't, I, we got to make pass. Okay. Well, like, I'm play bumper. And we can, we could play bumper. Can't we get in off of this? Here? I don't think I don't think so. It's I too do. high. It's close. Okay, where are you playing then? Normal. I think normal. Okay. I agree with Chris that that is a very dangerous stone to play, or to leave rather, because not because it's on, but because if they tap it anywhere behind there, the way the other two guards are set up in front of the house, the yellow and the red, if you get behind there, there's no way to get them out. Same way. So he just hits it on the nose there. You know, if he rolls it over yeah. slightly, it'd be all right too. Close! Oh, close! Yep! Yep! Hurry! 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 Okay. It's all right. <laughs> there, there are a lot of things that are sort of happening to these. They're hitting a lot of rocks when they're coming down there. They're not, like, B, uh, B options are coming into play. There hasn't been a disaster. No, but though there have been missed shots, yeah, they exactly. haven't been disastrous. No. Although it doesn't look like either team is particularly throwing them badly. No. It's, they're having a hard time either reading the ice or calling the line. Could, yeah. you show him a half, he could keep it yeah, jamming it's, it's on here. Yeah, let's go around there. Okay. Whatever you want to throw. Think it's going to come in there? It should. Yeah. Careful of that line, eh, James? Straight yeah, straight draw. Well, even if we show him half, yeah, he just wants to... Uh, that was very bad luck. What do you like, the tap? Instead of the draw? Yeah. <coughs> just like to come in here and then just halfway in behind what? here. Just No, what do you like? Instead of the draw? These guys like the tap. Okay. So they've changed that now. They want to just yeah. front end stock them out. They want to do the raise <coughs> on the red. Same type of idea, raise the red straight. What's the weight? Uh, this one straight back into this area. Both are good options. I think the feeling is just because they've had so much difficulty figuring out the line that rather than risk it hanging it open, they know how to get to that redstone and tap it back anywhere there. As long as it's full eight foot, it's good. The best part about the maybe this this raise is if it doesn't work perfectly, they split and leaves the back one exposed a little bit. There's a possibility yep. of getting a deuce yep. or a three oh, even oh. that way. Yep. Oh, it's got a curl. Whoa. Oh. OJ does have the advantage of last oh. rock in this end. Whoa. Oh. 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 Yep, yep, yep. Oh. Hey. Oh. Nice. Roll this. There's the split you talked Shot. about, Don. Yeah, not ideal, but uh, but that's right. That's when you you have the option of the split on that. They're having they're, they are having a little trouble reading the Sorry. ice, as you say, Kathy. They just it's not quite there. The weight doesn't appear to be too bad, but they're not. I threw, I threw in practice, practice about here. Great weight, I guess. Try that. Perfect weight. I just gotta run the line way. for a while. Can't rob. If that was sheet C, it would be over. Wow. Is that a draw the open side? I just want in a little more ice. 
I like about here. I don't like setting up the double. Here, show me. Right in the middle. It's right there. Okay. It's good. Hey, maybe a touch more. Whoa. See, Ron, Ron's concern is that he comes down and right in there and sets up a double on his own. He's got to, he wants to make sure he's in behind that guard. As long as he's tucked by about yeah. half, he'll take that yeah, away. Exactly. He's got to make sure he's partially in behind, yeah. but he, he can't set up a double. Definitely the shot, I think. But they are seeming to struggle back to that a little bit, Don, with the line. They look like they're throwing them well. This is both teams. They look like they've got very close weight. James had really good weight to promote that redstone back, but they seem to be struggling. We hear them say it's running a little bit different than Sheet C, which is, of course, where James played earlier today. Balls. Yep. Yep, line. It's been running about 24 to the T line. Now it's moving nicely. Really important that he would stay in front of the T line. Right. Coach lies too. Wait. It's okay, but he wanted that about, as you say, Kathy, it was really crucial. It had to be above the T line. He gets above the T line. I know he knows it's <coughs> maybe six feet, three feet Sorry, too heavy. No bounce, Sage. Straight, straight draw. It's a little heavy, eh? It was a little long. I live in work, Manitoba, and I work for the Four Cards Council of Winnipeg, Inc. And he's pretty happy about that as well, by the looks of that. <laughs> Folk Arts Council, of course, the group that puts on Folklorama, among amongst other things. I actually work with him in business myself. Too. I'm aware of that, you travel agent, you. Yeah, he's just he's just going to come in here on this one, just come come back into that, use a little bit of backing into the back and just uh, and try and uh, come into this area. Yeah, it was a bad shot for Ron, for sure, to be behind the T-line. He set up a little bit of a pocket there for James. Anywhere in front of that pretty much nullifies the end. Yep. Wall room. Room. Yeah, that was great. Yep. Hard! Quick! Hard! 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 Harder, harder, harder! Hard! Harder, harder! Hard! Harder, harder! Hard! Harder, harder! Hard! 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 Hi, I'm James Kirkness. I'm from Winnipeg, Manitoba, and I'm a sales rep for Vitality Food Service Canada Limited. I don't think so. Well, three quarters. Probably what you got to hit. I can't see it to pick it, folks. No. I'm not, I'm not thinking pick, just, just heavy draw. You know, wow. I gotta hit it, I gotta hit it. I gotta hit it super thin, I'll never see it, the shooter. I gotta push it all the way to here. We got two. Well, I can't you... see it all. This is suicide. Yeah. Well, you can see enough of that to make it. Zooming, guys? No, well never. You know how thin I gotta hit that? I gotta hit it right here. I yeah. can't make that shot. I mean, you, I You're think you just quarter, can't quite see it. Okay, well, let's just draw. I'm thinking just draw, wait, just, yeah, just push it over to here. You're, you're trying to feather it right over. I'm not trying to feather it, I'm trying to just draw and rub it into here and sit here. I know, but you gotta, to move it there, you gotta hit it thin. You can't hit the quarter of the stone, it hits the seven. Okay. What do you wanna do? With that? That's the, uh, almost the yeah, classic no situation of, the skip has the shot he wants to play and the third is trying to talk him into another shot he doesn't feel comfortable in playing. Straight draw. The, uh, so Ronnie's right on that one. He, he's, you know, he's got to play lightweight on it, but he's straight draw and see what happens. To, to move it over there, uh, it's, it's just not going to do it with the kind of weight he's playing. So what he said is straight draw. We'll see what happens if the line is good and they think that they can do that. His concern is that because James made that shot so good, he tucked it in so good, he can't see yep. any of it. He needs line. to ensure that he scores yep. one. Line. And if there's any sort Hard of chance line. for two, then they'll do that. All right, guys, never leave it. Got a chance, yep. Yep, 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 yep. Hard, 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 guys. Right, Boy, that's try. as close as you get. Great try. So Ron Goche will pick up one. 
here in this third end. And that'll tie this B-side semifinal at two. When it comes to farm fresh ideas, Granny's knows best. From our family to your family. Granny's Manitoba grown quality chicken and turkey. Farm fresh taste and country goodness. Granny's. And now to drop the puck for the opening face off, our special guest, Queen Gretzky. Whoa, it's the Gretzky puck. It's a Gretzky puck! <laughs> Introducing McDonald's commemorative pucks for the 2002 Olympic Winter Games. Just $1.99 each with any size fry, hash brown, or drink. Plus, get your puck display stand for just 99 cents. <laughs> the Safeway Select Men's Provincial Curling Championship is brought to you in part by Canada Safeway. Select premium quality. Someone in the West becomes a lottery millionaire. With the exception of December. When 11 Westerners became lottery millionaires. You don't know how lucky you are. Play the lottery. When it comes to farm fresh ideas, Granny's knows best. From our family to your family. Granny's Manitoba grown quality chicken and turkey. Farm fresh taste and country goodness. Granny's. At the 2001 Safeway Select, two time Manitoba champion Vic Peters faces Mark Lukowicz of Valor Road in second round action. It's the first end. Peters has the hammer, but Lukowicz is lying two yellow counters in the forefoot as Vic delivers his final rock. And it's the kind of shot we've come to expect from the gritty granite skip. Not only does Peters remove the two yellow counters, he also bumps a third yellow rock out of the back of the house. That leaves three red rocks counting and jump starts Vic Peters to a 3-0 lead en route to a 10-7 victory. Under Pressure is brought to you by Robin's Donuts in Delhi. You always get a break at Robin's. And welcome back to the Yellowhead Center here in Nipua. B-side semifinal action night, 2-2 in the game between Kirkness and Goche. Oh, and over on the other game, it is Barry Tall leading oh. Mark Lukwich 3-2 as they are playing it. in the fourth end. Line's good, yes! Yeah. Now my pleasure to uh, be joined by Lois Fowler, who won't be playing in the Scott Tournament of Hearts, though you came very close. <laughs> yes, we did. But you will be chairing the event, and it is going to be a success once again. Well, we're sure hoping so, and we're really looking forward to it. It's uh, only two weeks away from today, and we're really getting excited in Brandon, and there's a lot starting to happen, that's for sure. Lois, you got a great field. I certainly have seen some of the teams that are coming out that everybody knows, the Sherry Madaws, the Sherry the Andersons, road. Colleen Jones is returning champion. Yeah. Kathy Most King. of the field back. Yeah. Well, you know, it's yeah. just yeah. an outstanding field, Kathy. We have, uh, like you say, those top names along with Kathy Borst, and we've got Kathy Floyd back for the 11th time from New Brunswick, and Kathy Cunningham from Newfoundland. And out of the 60 players that are coming to Brandon, 40 of them have been to a previous Scott, so that's a heck of a field coming. And we also have the Jones team. You betcha. From you Manitoba. Know, hats off to Jennifer and her team. They've uh, been knocking on the door for a number of years, and I'm sure they'll represent like Manitoba real well. Now, for the fans, yeah, I know that you well, have that one is for three sure. or four coming different across, types yeah, of packages. Coming across it? Yeah, come across. Yes, we yeah, do. We have right. the um, play mini packs, which are well, offer the well, opening well. weekend, a midweek pack, and then the closing weekend well, as well. Be and draw. they've been selling very, very well. Oh, I like this, Jim. As well, of course, there's the full event pass, and as of February 1st, the um, individual ticket sales are, tickets are now available on sale as well. And Lois, I know uh, 
anybody that hasn't been out to Brandon, if they haven't seen the Keystone Center, I mean, it's got to be the best venue that there is in Canada to watch curling. It's just a perfect venue. It's super. It's absolutely, a, it's a great facility. Well, you're, you just hit the nail on the head, Don. It's just a fantastic facility, and I think everybody in Brandon and Westman should be so thankful to have that arena because it just lends itself to, uh, you know, perfect to venue for the curling. At nine and a half acres under one roof, you never have to go outside for the whole day. Something like the Yellowhead Center, but just not, just a little bit bigger. Play here, guys. Lois, I know that uh, traditionally we have seen, you know, Lloyd Stanzel, we've seen Hans Withrick. Uh, you've taken a little bit of a different turn with your ice maker this year. Yes, we have Dave Merklinger coming to put the ice in along with the help of Eric Monfort, which of course we're all familiar with, uh, did a great job at the Civic Center this year. And Dave is no stranger to the curling circles. He's done the ice at a number of Scots in the past. So, uh, you know, I'm sure the ice will be equally as good as it was in the Manitoba Provincials yeah. as, what, as well as what we're seeing right here in front of us tonight. Yeah, 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 yeah. So uh, those guys um, will do a good job as well. They'll do a great job. Eric Monford, of course, has been a right-hand guy for Hans for years. There's Eric right there and a chance for him to be Hans free, literally. <laughs> Well, he, he, I don't think he's got the confidence in himself to put the ice and he always thinks he needs Hans, but I'm really glad he's getting this opportunity at the national level because he certainly has made a name for himself in Manitoba, that's for sure. And he's great. He's one of those guys that I know from having had a chance to play under his ice that he's always interested in talking to the players, Lois, to see what they are finding and what they like and don't like so that if there's something wrong, he'll fix it. That's so true. He was so great in Winnipeg this year at our provincials. He just was constantly asking questions about the ice. Hard, AJ, hard, right off. A nice shot. It's good. Okay. And as you can see, lots of rocks in play. Three in the rings, three outside the rings. So anything different at the Scott this year, Lois, or is it exactly sort of the same sort of format? You People can, can expect to see the page system, all of those things, or? All of those things with the curling are the same, Kathy, but we do have a number of events taking place throughout the week known as Heartfest, which sure will give got, uh, our fans just something to do between see games. There's uh, an autograph session, there's uh, photo sessions with the teams and the trophy, there's uh, Pro-Am spill, and all those proceeds are going to the Sandra Schmirler Foundation, where the uh, public gets an opportunity yeah. to play with people like yourself, Kathy. And <laughs> all now, if they're supposed to be selling the program, <laughs> Lois, not sending people away. Well, we wanted something for the curlers once they're eliminated from play, and there's a number of curlers, of course, that aren't, won't be in the semifinals, and so it gives them an opportunity to, to uh, play and have some fun with the public. And also, we're having an up-close and personal session, which uh, allows uh, the public to Bro! talk to people like the Ice Makers, uh, the Colleen Jones team, just a real personal interview session Not between the afternoon and evening guys. draw. Um, we have uh, a really top-notch lineup of entertainment for the Hearts still Top Lounge at night. We've yeah, got uh, Trooper coming in on the first Friday night, the 22nd. And then throughout the week, we've got like, you know, Celtic Way, we've got Doc Walker, Sorry, we've got Men Without that. Shame, we've got Boogie Nights, Poverty Plainsmen, it just, the list just goes on and on. And so there's just gonna be action happening, you, to wear that you know, within the whole facility, on the ice, as well as off. I'm trying to decide from looking at my my bookends here, Don and Joe, whether you're Men Without Shame or Poverty <laughs> Plainsmen. Yeah, you can try to whistle. We're uh, troopers. <laughs> you betcha. <laughs> uh. Good line, Don. Way to save yeah. us there. Well, I got to bail us out quickly. You got to be on your toes up here, I'll tell you. It should be a really good week, though. Yeah, We're really the excited the about the changes that have happened. You know, even um, if you could. Our squad has just got a lot of firsts because if we were the first the uh, squad yeah. to operate under the new event management system. So it's kind of new to all of us in Brandon, but we're really looking forward to it. Interesting shot coming up here. Well, the rocks Whoa. have really built up. Ron asking Close. his second how Whoa. much they could see and electing to guard the angle and leave this shot there. Shot, kind of boy. Oh. Got very fortunate. <laughs> that was option Z. <laughs> oh, boy, there This you. has been a wild game. Now, how yeah. do you score this game? <laughs> if you're the scorer, because they haven't made the shots they're calling. The shots should be scored very low because it's... I, you you are scored play, based on I mean, what it is that you are yeah. asked you draw, to play. Yeah. Uh, play the hit on that. Well, I'm going to be interested in seeing the percentages. <laughs> He's 
Just quiet. trying to trying to pick oh. this one out. Yeah. Bump it back. Concern, of course, is that with Outlast Rock, you don't want to give up a whole pile. Uh, I guess uh, just a half quarter of a rock. Or, uh, not even that. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and stay in front of that shoot and shot rock. Yep, yep. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. Why that's straight? Really straight. They Even jumped that, that really, way. really early. It makes contact, but doesn't stick around. So, Lois, how does it feel this time? Last time, yeah. Hold on, that Lois. You're going to quickly jump over to sorry, the jump. other game, uh, the other B-side semifinal between Mark Lukowicz and Barry Tall. This is the final rock from the fourth end, and Mark Lukowicz playing the race takeout, and it was almost disaster. But he didn't raise Barry Tall in for shot. Picks up one, and that one is tied at three. I was just going to ask her, Joe, in 1993, Lois was the chairperson for the Scott, and along with Maureen and the rest of the troops wound up winning Manitoba that year, and so you stepped down from the, the chairperson's job to actually play in the event. Did that have a contributing factor to you agreeing to chair it again, or was it just something that you wanted to do? Well, it really was something I wanted to do. I think the Scott's a terrific event, and... I kind of wanted to f fulfill the duties, I guess, of being the chairperson this time, although I would love to have won two more games. <laughs> I bet you weren't thinking that last weekend. I certainly was ago. not. But like, I just love curling, and I love to be involved with the sport, and I think it's just a terrific event to bring back to Brandon, and so happy that CCA and Scott Paper chose Brandon once again. Whoa! First shot by Chris oh. let them a little bit off the hook and oh. managed to get to that rock oh. that's in the yeah. forefoot. Trying to hit the yeah. wall. Going the other get way. Over. Boy, that's running straight. It's just, it's, this is a trickier sheet to read than we, we've seen, on, especially on sheet uh, sheet three. You see the middle sheet. Uh, we find this one a little more, uh, a little more difficult. They're both runs. struggling yeah, and just exactly. running. Sure. They're having first one. Well, uh, I don't know. I think it caught that spot where it runs, same set of spot. Weight was pretty close. Oh. Whoa, whoa. Close. Yep. Yep. Four. Whoa. Four. Whoa. Yep. Playing the, yep. the hit and roll. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, boy. Good shot. Kirkman slides two again. Two guys. that rolled nicely for them over there. Yeah, didn't roll too far, but... Uh, I think so. Uh, you can see where you can see. Ron can see a little bit of it in there. It looks like he's just playing the front. You know, you can hit it out. You could hit it a bit high. Get them both? Nate, get them both. Okay. See how it goes. Looks like he needs about a half of that, isn't it? Yeah, something like that. That's real firm, folks. Okay. Ron Goche does not have last rock advantage in this end. No. So what does he want to do? He's going to hit about there, onto this one, that yeah. one, onto that one, no. spill them both out. At a minimum, what he wants yeah. to do is at least remove that top red one from play. Yeah. His shooter, if it comes straight back, will no, also stay in the house, rolling behind the center guard. Yeah. And if it hits three quarters, we'll We're on a 2000 mixed finalist with our guest oh. at third. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Lois. Yeah, yeah. That was a yeah. lot of fun that year. Just Brian Pallister, we couldn't get by him. Oh, good oh, oh, oh. shot. Good job. It's that roll behind the center that we talked about. If you don't make the double, you keep your shooter around. Maybe open it up for the run back next time. Hey, even if you're back here, he's going to tap that, I guess. I can't hit that, obviously. Yeah, you get back here. As long as we're half eight, put it back. Just make sure we're by the guard. Yeah. <laughs> Want a little more? Yeah. Okay. Well, not that much. Yeah. Okay, uh, no more. I'll come up. 
For James, he can't the, defend against yeah, what... Yeah, no, what he... Yeah, you're right. He can't defend against everything. What he wants to... Uh, what he wants to do on that, if we can see this, he just... He's, he just wants to come in in here and in the back in this area. I can guard the tap. But he wants... He's worried about this tap back, leaving Ronnie to tap back that on his next shot. So he's got to leave him that. No more. That's a wait. James just Heel confirming the weight with his guys. front end. Weight should be close. Whoa, room. Make sure Whoa. it's here. Make sure it's D-line. It's got to be here. Hard. Hard. Go oh, hard. Kirkness lies two again. Well, it didn't come back far enough. It may leave the double open for him, at least a hit and roll for Ryan. Touch more. We had more last time. Well, it appears to be about three quarters open. I know, I can't afford a hit, though. You touch more. Okay. It's normal. That was a danger not bringing it back. Half. Half rocks the double. Afrock gets a double to give credit where it's yeah. due, though, Donnie. They swept yeah. that rock. Right, it's normal here, firm. double. Pretty hard. Yeah, they did. You're right. But it's, uh, it was starting to move in there, the perfect line. Big shot here for Ron. Oh, oh. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, oh, oh. It's close. It's got one. He's got a great He's shot. He's got two. Does it get it out far enough? Not yes. out of the house, but yeah, good enough to lie too. Enough, yeah. Super shot. How are you handling all this, Kathy? It must be a little tough when you're watching your husband. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> well, you're doing a good, great job commentating. <laughs> I'm not speaking. <laughs> a little more? No, no. Good call by Chris. You can see it's just taking its time to get over wow. there, and then it starts to go. If bit. it hits it just a little thinner, maybe it hits it a little bit harder. Oh, you're right. They had to be on it. No, yep. you're right. They had to be thinner. on it a little bit. A little thinner would have been better. But you can see perfect setup. James is uh, in a bit of trouble here. Same weight. For James, though, the positive side is he's just thrown it here. He knows what the ice is like. He needs full eight foot for the point. And the lead. Steel line. Oh. Oh, line's fine, just for you guys. Clean Make it. sure it's T-line. Make sure. Yep. Okay. Line's fine. Hard. Line's fine. Hard. Make sure it's T-line. Line's fine. Quick. Quick. Good shot. Good shot. Just. Yeah, no problem. Boy, that dies fast coming into the house, top of the house. Just enough. So it's one for James Kirkness here in four, and the lead back at three to two in this B side semifinal. Lois Fowler, thank you very much. Good luck at the Scott. Thank you, Joe. The Safeway Select Men's Provincial Curling Championship is brought to you in part by Robin's Donuts and Deli. You always get a break at Robin's. We're 
can you find maximum value and great taste? Sweet! Sweet! With over 30 Manitoba locations in towns and cities large and small. Hurry! Hurry on! We're your treated just like family and made to feel at home. Hurry! Hurry! Yep! Chicken Shack. Serving up fresh, wholesome meals that always hit the spot. Come on in, the chicken chef. We're cooking up something good for you. WestJet, we'll see you there. And welcome back, Saturday night at the Select in Nipua. And let's drop in on the action between Barry Tall and Mark Lukowicz. This is the final shot of the fifth end. You can see Mark Lukowicz positioning himself nicely there right in front of Barry Tall and our camera shot. But Barry Tall with a very difficult shot right here. Mark Lukowicz has one on the forefoot behind the guard. And he's only shown him a glimmer. He's trying to pick it out. You know, that's the first shot we've seen him miss. You know, and, and it is guys true. sort of watched over. I was just, I was thinking as he threw it, as he let it go there, that's a lot of weight for that shot. <laughs> and it's the first time I we've seen him miss because he's played sensationally. The, what end. we've seen, some unbelievable well, shots against Ron Westcott to, to eliminate great. Westcott this morning. He does indeed. That puts the score to 4-3. It had been tied to that point. The steal goes to Lukowicz. But he has made yep. just about everything. And maybe even though there wasn't a whole lot he could see, there was no way to get shot unless he played the thin pick. But we know you up your weight and it just does not that, move no, out here. Not move. <laughs> so in our game, we have a guard <laughs> out in front. Off the center line and... Ron Goche wants another guard. But as That's we've right. seen in this, shot, uh, this game, the ice is a little trickier. We've, uh, we've seen things we hadn't seen in, in the previous game. And just a little more difficult to read the ice there, both teams, not just one. So it's, uh, it is a tricky sheet. But there's been some outstanding shots. A great one by Ron in the yeah. last end to sort of bail him out of trouble, force James into taking the one. Some good numbers for AJ, no question about that. It is definitely more tricky tonight. We're seeing both yeah. skips a little bit perplexed, and we've seen more option B, C, and D, which has worked out in both of their favors at various times, but not the called and executed shots that we've seen this, this week. Let's play, Bob. Okay. Tomato, tomato, potato, potato. AJ Gerard, last time he was in the <laughs> Safeway Select, was playing with Scott Hamilton. trouble is when you, you go for shots like that if you don't quite get the roll enough you set the other team up for a roll yeah. to stop it here. absolutely especially when there's two guards up there anywhere in the middle allows the other team to take advantage of those two stones one way or the other James is trying the opposite roll now too late I was trying that way but that gives Ron an option to roll either way Pretty good percentages there for Dave. Whoa! Yep! Hey! 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 No roll yet again. Hey. Really finished nice. Yeah. yeah. Side of the it's frustrating each team. They want, oh, give me the other Make team that roll. opportunity. Make a roll without sweeping and they'll be even better. <laughs> what do you want to play this? Yeah. 
That Easy rock end. progressively moving its way up the house, so even a roll is no longer as dangerous as it once was. It wouldn't be in the forefoot. It would be a piece of the 12, piece yeah. of the 8. Five! Yep, party. Almost perfect. What? Well, you know, again, once it's coming down, it looks like it's all the way. They've got to be aggressive with their calls, but but it just sort of straightens out about the hog line. You can't blame them for aggressively calling on that, but Not at that all. one straightened out near the end. So leaving a chance for Dave here to be able to pick it off and yep. actually roll further the other way again. All right. Perfect Why? roll. Excellent shot. Sensational shot on that one. Finally, they get it's a perfect great roll. Shot. Yes. <laughs> By Dave, they've had enough chances yeah, well, at this. Well, it took, well, took about six shots at it, but they finally got yeah. it perfect. Shot. Here we. Yep. Okay, I think we have the Canadian oh. judges out here yeah, today. Yeah. We've all got some pretty nice percentages. Oh. Oh. Yes. Yep. Based yeah. on end results. Maybe great, not necessarily the shot. shot. Super shot. Although it does leave the guards now. Without Last Rock, though, their, their immediate concern was to definitely remove the stones in the house. <laughs> nice well, setup here for Ron, actually. Not particularly. With two corner guards like this. Maybe more oh, towards the center guard, of course, but still four foot wide open. Good opportunity for Deuce. Chris has been with Ron for six years. Probably one of the longest running teams. The Dave Wait and Grant, it. it's been 16 years hey. with Ron, longer than I. Oh, I'm sure yeah. he'll keep them <laughs> over me as well. Oh, yeah. My room. Some days. Come on, girl. Yes. <laughs> Having trouble finishing now, it's starting to move. Oh, look at it go the now. There, there it goes. Right? At the end, but yeah. as with going this way with the intern on the far side, just doesn't want to seem to go in a hurry. But that one didn't move until it got well into the house. Well, and it started, yeah. well into the house, don't So when you're playing a quiet weight hit here, it may just stay right there. So this is a quite a delicate shot here for uh, Travis. Yes! Well, James was calling right out of his hand. Yes. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, no, he's yeah. all over that guard. Oh, yeah. Roll it. Boy, he, he, that was gone before he let it go almost. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, now Ron will just maybe hustle in behind. <laughs> you can make raise backs, but you can't make. <laughs> it was a bad slide. Gross life. You're feeling it. I should have maybe raised back again. I was joking. I but you can see a half. I could see it. No, he's actually talking when he was throwing. He's back to me. See half. Love it around. It's pretty good. A lot of room. With that throw by Travis, yeah. a chance. For the Goche team to split the house back, in line back, two. Back, 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 back. It's not curling at all. Don't want to set up the oh, double. Way. That's why they're going right back. Hard, baby, hard. Boy, that's the straightest we've seen a rock go. In it the, is indeed. It's unbelievable. That hardly moved Thanks, at all. Dang, what did I do with that thing? Did that go? He straightened it a bit, but. Okay. Travis just talked about a bad slide. Yeah, but watch, watch him start to talk here. He's talking, he, he's, and you can yeah. see his body is not square behind the stone, so he's sort of his body is starting to swing out to the left of the screen which means that he's trying to put the rock back to the right he just didn't have much of a chance try to hit and roll on the top one but then chris fulcher comes down there trying to tuck him <laughs> behind as you can see that's not exactly buried in there it just stayed straight it just didn't look like it curled much more than a foot tricky sheet so far, it's confusing the two teams. Oh, precisely. Everybody's curling quite decently over uh, 80, most of them over 80%. Yep, 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 hard, hard! Whoa, 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 right over. 
shot. Oh, nice shot. Not quite the role he wanted, but it was uh, pretty close. Another opportunity now for Goche with the, the hit and the roll to score two. I was still got a couple of shots to go, but it's, uh, it's running straight. He's still in behind there. He's still leaving things open a little bit. Well, you're, hear, you're hearing the comments oh. there from Kirkness and Graham. Ah, oh, shoot. Just echoing your comments, Don, that the, the ice is just totally different on this sheet compared to sheet C that we saw this afternoon. Yeah, it is a little frustrating for them, but they got to got to try and hang in there uh, emotionally. And, and these two teams played each other last yep, night on yep. sheet C, Five. which is the adjoining sheet to the, to the left. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Looking yeah. for the hit and the roll. Yeah, right up. That's a nice Whoa. shot. Nice shot. Excellent. So he now. needed that. Yeah, that was a great shot. That puts the heat on uh, Kirkness on this one now. Does he gamble? Does he try to go in behind or hit the open? Three. See what they say. He can come back. I can work through. Just make sure you're on the inside. If you're on the inside, the seven's gone. Yeah. <coughs> Good call. He's, he's no playing an aggressive call here. As indicated like there, he just, he just, Draw. he would, uh, he'd like to just place that rock in there. <coughs> but it is, it is yeah, a tough one. He's got to make sure he gets it. Uh, he can't, he, he can't give up more than, uh, more than a deuce here. If he misses his shot, there's a chance of giving up a deuce or a three. No <coughs> more. Yeah. 25. Just reconfirming Try the weight. To bump it. But as we've seen lately, the rocks aren't moving. No. This is this where Chris Fulcher came down and just stayed right there. So we'll see what uh, James does. Line's good. Just for weight, guys. Take a look. They jumped on it right oh, away. Lots of room. Room. Yep. Yeah. Hard. Hard. Quick. Those guards. Light. Yeah, he didn't have the weight. See, that's a danger of that shot. He might have played it conservatively and gone after the open one, giving up a deuce at the worst. Now he can give up a three. Never be off that. tell him to come off the loose. His weight there? Oh, not even close. Top sure. eight? It? No. He just touched it. Little, he didn't even make it to the 12. It was right there. Was the um, I don't know. No, he was. They are very frustrated there. He was definitely light because they jumped on it, as you said, Joe, right, right away. Yep. yep. Yeah. They are getting a little uh, frustrated. Oh, have a look, guys. And now uh, Ron's concern is that he threw too much weight. Fine's fine. A little further out, mind you, on that one. He's out in that heavier Mine's stuff. Fine's fine. T line. All he needs is a piece of the uh, 12 foot. Back or front. Yes. <laughs> Had a bar. No problem. So it is a draw for three for Ron Goche here in end number five, and he takes the five to three lead on James Kirkness. And James Kirkness very frustrated. Ron Goche, well, he just always looks that way. When it comes to farm fresh ideas, Granny's knows best. From our family to your family, Granny's Manitoba grown quality chicken and turkey. Farm fresh taste and country goodness, Granny's. Driving is all about control. Not having maximum control depends on your tires. So how are your tires? Really? So when's the last time you checked? You can't remember. This does nothing for Reg the Rubber Man's ego, but Rubber understands. In fact, it's because of your lack of thought about tires that Rubber Man is in a constant state of readiness. When a call comes in and there's a tire down, no one reacts faster. Listed in the yellow pages under Beer Tire because there's no listing for super fast, super affordable tire specialist. In April 2003, they will travel across the globe to the center of the curling universe 
to renew an annual rivalry known as the Ford World Curling Championships. Can you hear it? Can you feel it coming on? A spirit touching us all together in Winnipeg. And this is where the world is one. Wondering what to do with your RRSP investment in today's bear market? Shelter your investments with real tax savings today with Manitoba's largest and most successful venture capital fund, the Crocus Investment Fund. To earn the kind of long-term returns you expect, Crocus invests in strong Manitoba companies like these, led by award-winning entrepreneurs that power real growth for Crocus shareholders. Look for the Crocus Advantage today. In skating, precision counts. With every movement, with every stroke, spin, and jump, our young Manitoba skaters strive for perfection. At Manitoba Blue Cross, we design healthcare plans with the same precision, striving for perfection. We encourage and support excellence and applaud its pursuit in all arenas of life. Manitoba Blue Cross, the color of caring. When it comes to farm fresh ideas, Granny's knows best. From our family to your family. Granny's Manitoba grown quality chicken and turkey. Farm fresh taste and country goodness. Granny's. The fifth end break is brought to you by Chicken Chef Family Restaurants. Real quality, real value, real selection. Made in Manitoba. And by Lotto Super 7. What's your dream? At the midway point of this B-side semifinal, 5-3 for Ron Goche over James Kirkness, who is with our Kathy Goche. James, we're in a situation where you came in, you had the last rock advantage. We've seen some up and downs. You decided to go for it on that last shot. Yeah, it, uh, you know, I've had my draw weight for most of the uh, weekend. And, uh, you know, we, we had an opportunity with a high guard. and. We thought we were going to try to sneak one by there, but unfortunately, we uh, we tick. But that's the way it goes sometimes. You're probably the only team in the unfortunate position of playing this game after coming off a really tough loss and a really big game. How do you bounce back after that loss to come out here tonight and win this game? Well, you have to. You know, uh, if uh, you've been playing this game long enough, you you take you have to you know let the losses go and keep plugging away and. And that's, uh, you know, that's the attitude our team has. And, you know, we're going to try our best and see what happens. Down two points, got lots of game to go. What do you do in the second five to turn this around for you? Well, I think, you know, I think we played well the first five ends. Uh, we've ticked a few guards, unfortunately. But, uh, you know, we're going to put up, you know, put up some guards and play some come arounds and, uh, you know, hopefully get the rocks in the right spots. Thanks a lot, Joe. Looks like a good second five. We'll be waiting to see you. Thank you very much, uh, Kathy. And uh, just checking in on the game between Barry Tall and Meyer Lukewich there into the seventh end. That game is tied at four as what happened in the uh, sixth end was Barry Tall was trying to blank the end but had a nose hit and picked up a single point. So Mark Lukewich now has the hammer in that one. Kathy Goche is with Ron Goche. Ron, you come into this game, you're playing a guy that you've lost to earlier. You played a little bit defensively that game. Did you change your tactics for tonight's game? Uh, not really. Uh, the first game we uh, we made a few sweeping errors and we didn't execute on three or four big shots and uh, cost us the game and we just can't afford to do that and so we're trying not to do that today. Let's talk about the ice. We're seeing lots of ticks on both teams. Is the ice different or are you guys just having a hard time calling line? Oh, I th no, the ice is pretty much the same. It's a little bit different than it was this afternoon. It was curling more this afternoon. It's a little straighter now. But it's been like that pretty much all week. Uh, everybody's just getting a little cute, trying to be perfect and pushing it, you know. So what do you do? You finally uh, scored your three points. You're up two. How do you take the last five? Well, for us, uh, we can't give up any steals. And uh, if we give up a deuce because they make a good shot, uh, just, uh, you know, accept it and uh, not give up any steals and try to get the deuce back. Good luck in the second five. Thanks. And thank you, Ron and Kathy. Coming up next, the feature on The Voice of Manitoba Curling.
7.5 million of anything is a lot. 7.5 million dollars is Friday's Lotto Super 7. It's a whack of cash. On February 23rd, a whole new galaxy of stars will appear in Brandon, and prime viewing locations are going fast. Scott Tournament of Hearts single-day passes are just $30, or pick up a voucher at Safeway and redeem it only at Ticketmaster in Brandon for an $8 saving. And remember, your ticket also gives you free admission to the renowned Heartstop Lounge. For non-stop fun, don't miss the Scott Tournament of Hearts. Where stars are born today. Bob Pickens' name has been synonymous with curling in Manitoba for almost half a century, since he first caught the fever from two of the most hallowed names in Manitoba curling history. Around about 1947, I went to see the Manitoba Curling Championship final, called the Consuls in those days, at the old Winnipeg Amphitheater rink. And there was a jam-packed crowd of over 5,000 people there to watch Jimmy Welsh beat Ken Watson. And I guess I got uh, the bug for the game as a result of that particular night. Bob Pickens' name was a fixture at the Provincials during the 60s. He reached the consoles final in 1963, where he was edged out by Hirsch Lerner for the Manitoba title. I got into uh, the play down scene uh, in Manitoba. I curled at Valor Road. I had uh, some outstanding players that were with me. Uh, a great third man, one of the best uh, that I think this province produced, and uh, an unsung hero, Glenn Christensen. And I know at that stage of the game, I was on the ice every day, uh, all season long, and uh, I think that involvement really uh, was, was thrilling, actually, for me. Uh, I don't think we ever got quite to the level that curlers are at nowadays. Ice conditions were not as good, the equipment was not as good. And our skills were certainly not as good, but, uh, you know, there were some pretty good curlers back in my day, too. Cactus Jack Wells gave him his first break in radio, but it was at CJOB that Bob really developed his career as a sports broadcaster. The first assignment that I had was to go to Saskatoon to cover the Briar because uh, Terry Bronstein's team was doing so well and was on its way to winning out there. And within three days of starting at CJOB, I was on a plane to Saskatoon and... Uh, Oh, that was a special thrill and a challenge, I guess, right off the bat. From Watson and Welsh to Burtnick and Stoughton, Bob's passion for curling has endured. I thoroughly enjoy going out and watching even the juniors and the seniors and uh, the little kids getting started with, uh, you know, the little rocks and so on. And uh, I think it's just a love affair that you, uh, you develop over a period of time. And I still find it very, very interesting and fascinating. And uh, Bob Pickin, there you are. How about that? How about that? Pretty nice testimony. Thank you very much, sir. Well, you're welcome very much. And uh, join the curling out here, obviously, in Neepawal. And I would suspect, because you are from Valor Road, that uh, Mark Lukowicz may be, though we're not supposed to cheer for anybody, who might said be that? Someone you might... <laughs> <laughs> Who wrote that rule? <laughs> you're, you're Nobody exempt. cheering for their husband? <laughs> oh, I guess we have to lead a little bit toward Mark. He, uh, he's also had an outstanding year and a very good weekend here. Uh, would appear to be in the Wolf driver's four. seat. So, uh, yeah, you got to lean a little bit toward him. But, uh, hey, he's uh, he's got a toughie Boy. on his hand here in this boy, uh, Grant. fellow from Swan River. We have an interesting game here in our feature match this evening. The game between Ron Goche and James Kirkness. And an error there in the, the last end by Kirkness allowing Goche to, to pick up three and lead by two. And Bob, I would suggest that the ice conditions here tonight are a little better than in 63 against Hirsch Lerner, aren't I'll they? I'll say. Uh, like, I, I, don't, I really don't <laughs> like to bring this up, and I'm going to pay the big price from you Boy, later, but it, there were a few six-enders scored by both you guys in those days. Yeah, well, he and put... Straw Brooms did that, didn't that, they? That's part of it, and uh, I think the ice conditions you mentioned uh, were horrendous in oh. the arena at that time. Lucky to get them to the other end, let yeah. alone make, uh, make a finesse shot, right? I remember a, a situation we played Barry Fry, and there was a stone yeah. that had sat over on the the outer edges for a long, long time. <laughs> it's sure it's and tight. then Fry took a run at it about uh, 10 minutes later, right. and he hit it solidly and moved it about a foot, and there was a Line great big, that. huge <laughs> ring in the ice where it had sunk in. 
And then a gopher came out and said, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, exactly. You disturbed my home. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Good breath, Grant. Nice shooting. See, most of those ice makers are now gone. Now we can get away with this, right? That's partly <laughs> true. <laughs> I think also, you know, the conditions have changed, and uh, we're not playing in the Winnipeg Arena again, but they, they discovered a way to make good ice in the arena. And, of course, when you have an outstanding uh, person like Hans Wuthrich, one of the world's greatest making ice, you, he can do it, I think, out on the parking lot. Hi! Three! Hi! A.J. Gallardin with the straight run back. One shot. Replaces the stones. Works. Still leaves the Goche team lying one, although that red stone, nice and tight to the house, now does belong to the Kirkness team. I know, Bob, we talked uh, earlier this week about, I guess, who you thought was uh, the best curler you've ever seen, and, and you have seen pretty well all of them. Yeah, I think uh, uh, the Richardson team team was uh, probably the, the most outstanding that I saw in its, in its era, and uh, I think Ken Watson for his day was uh, truly tremendous. You and I discussed that. And uh, uh, again, the skills uh, were relative to the time and the place and the type of conditions you had. Uh, we have to admire what uh, the curlers have to play on here now and the consistency across the sheet from one side to the other and, and the speed of the, you know, the, that they have here to work with. Uh, I think the curlers just appreciate this so much, and it, it just enhances their skill level. Good back. Whereas Ken Watson, uh, brilliant in his day, uh, had uh, more Does adverse conditions around? to cope with. Yeah. And you were telling me about all the things that Ken Watson <laughs> like hack, did, just besides winning the championships, but to promote and grow the sport. Exactly. He started the Canadian Junior Curling Program going. He uh, got the World Championship yep. uh, on the rails. He wrote books. Uh, his strategy, I think, is being employed to this very day. The way he, uh, he set the, the game in motion, I think, was tremendous at that stage. And uh, so you have to have a great deal of respect for him. And then in addition to that, he was a tremendous competitor. He also, I think, was our first inductee into the Manitoba Curling Hall of Fame along with the Don Duga team that uh, was truly outstanding later. Both on, we're second. There we go. We're second. We're second. I think we still got to play it, eh? I think we got to hit it, eh? I think so. Uh, like guard's not bad. Yeah, guard's OK, I guess. I like the hit. I like the bumper right here. Bit of a decision. The reason that they moved the guards was a good shot by yeah. second man Dean for Normal. the Kirkness team because the way the other guard that the Goche team had in front of the red stone was placed, they couldn't make a run back. They want to make sure they have a shot to get at that stone that's biting the forefoot. Yeah. In the process of removing one Whoa. of those stones, he spun his shooter yeah. into the house. You heard Ron say, hey. though, that it was third shot, but their decision was that based on being two up yep. and having a lot of respect for their opponents, well, wanting to make sure it's removed. Goche now lies three. Good shot. He would have liked to have rolled uh, about another foot. Would have been uh, partially in behind that guard at least. Sets up the opportunity here for the double. Yeah, it's there, yeah. I would suggest. Whoa! Whoa! Maybe you're going to get Whoa. it a little too thin. Whoa! All right, got a great shot. Nicely done. It's a terrific shot if it sticks around, which it does. Now, who is shot? Yeah. Is it Kirkness or Goche? A quick overhead shot indicated. I think it may have been. Uh, no, it's red. Yeah, the red. Yeah. 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 But as we've told you at home, yeah. our cameras, because of the configuration of the building, are not able to be exactly over the button. Why would you say that, Joe? <laughs> Just in case we're wrong. <laughs> it's called covering your behind. Okay. While I was running back from interviewing the skips at the fifth end break, I ran into Hans Withrick, the ice maker, and asked him if there was something or is it just our teams that were having trouble tonight? And he said, no, they, in anticipation of um, a Saturday night crowd, they thought that there might be a warm temperature in the building. They turned the plant down 
and then we've had the same kinds of crowds we've had all week good but not packed to the rafters and so what happened is the temperature's colder in here which makes the ice straighter so what the teams are seeing and feeling that it's not finishing as much not curling as much as true it's just not doing that but Han said they're trying to turn it around so we could start to see more finish and I think he has because it does feel warmer in here mm -hmm. Travis Graham was my selection for uh, all-star third this week. Uh, I wouldn't say it was a travesty that he didn't get the honor because uh, certainly there were a number of uh, brilliant thirds here this week. But uh, Travis uh, going into the game this afternoon, I thought uh, had been truly outstanding. Okay. What? Got it to finish pretty good, but in order to do so, they pulled it yeah, behind, behind the T-line. Yeah, a little bit too far behind the T-line. Well, last night, uh, the ice seemed to be fudging a lot, uh, you know, just to, as a matter of fact, over on sheet uh, A, it was uh, particularly bad, and uh, the curlers felt they had to throw it up just that little bit more because they were dying as they came into the rings, particularly around the forefoot. Don't you think, Bob, that if there's one huge advantage to experience Boss. and teams that come back time and time again is the ability Boss. to pick up Wait on those on things and not Boss. think oh maybe something happened but Boss. say you know what let's just believe that something's going to be different i think that that's uh, really one of the strong points of the the good skips that we have in this game that they're able to pick up on those changes rapidly and they watch the ice so closely and uh, if it does st suddenly start to do something different they can as you suggest jump on it fast well, move it where you think it was There's a nice shot coming down there. Mm -hmm. Right to the face of it. Behind the T line, though, that's the problem here. It just, it still gives uh, Travis a chance to come down to it and be shot rock. A little tighter, guys. Yep. Room. Yep. Room. Yeah. Heart. Heart. Whoa. 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 Where's the weight? There. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No. Good. That's where we want it. No. Line's fine. No. no. Sure it's there. No. Mine's fine. No. Oh boy. Oh boy. That's, that's a good shot. But I think can Ron uh, hit this? Well, let's quickly uh, jump over to there. the other B side <laughs> semifinal game and pick up the action in the seventh end with Mark Lukowicz holding the hammer and having to throw last rock. Playing a raise to get one of his red stones. And just nudges that yellow one far enough back that he picks up one and takes a five to four lead on Barry Tall. Barry Tall came here to play, no question about that. Well, he's another curler, uh, Kathy, that has been here before. He uh, mm -hmm. goes all the way back uh, to around 1976 or 77, I think his first appearance in the provincials. And uh, he was uh, here yeah. in 1980, Joe, when we were talking about uh, the team Brian right forward, White right that uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. was a runner up provincially that year. No, and nothing. A lot of experience no. there. A lot of weight, too. No, and he's no, putting no, it no, to no, use no, this no, weekend. No, no. Right off. Right off, right off, right off, right off, right off, right off. Beauty, Ronnie. Oh, <laughs> shot. great shot. Fast enough for, uh, <laughs> for shot rock. Super shot. Ah, I didn't want that. Doesn't really matter at this point. It's only one. It's only been one, two, one, two. Well, Ronnie, we think it's you. Well, yeah. Chris didn't seem to think it was, was it? I think it's pretty obvious that oh, you yeah. shot. You no, know, what I thought I heard Chris say is, I yeah. don't know, I never really looked. Let's wait. <laughs> <laughs> I just really <laughs> wanted to be on top of it. I don't think shots are the secondary. And then Ryan says, well, it doesn't really matter yeah, because yeah. we meet it later. Well, he really welded it in there, and it's in a position where he can't uh, hit it on that far side and get much movement. Fine, fine, it. just for you. Maybe there, this, this Wait only. Oh. James trying to set up a position and then look at a big bang Wait shot on his only. last. Close. Wait only. Yep. Yep. Hard. Hard. Yep. Yep. Hard. Hard. Got a bump. Got a bump. Hard. 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 Shot. 
Well, it's certainly an interesting lineup, isn't it? It is indeed. Well, you want to give him the glass or you want to give him the draw? Like, do you think you can? Can he get the seven out if he hits it? The can, he, can he get the seven out of there? I wouldn't think so. Like, what do you think? I don't think anything's getting out no. of there. No. Well, we can also play. Oh, I was thinking more of this. Take away the draw. Okay, let's leave him that. The blast is there on the intern side. Uh, how many would it be well, for? Be three. Would he get it out though. Yeah, would he get it out? Yeah. Right. Boy, That's... they're too tight. Yeah. He can see so. not quite all of it, eh? No, he's got to hit as much as he can of it. Yeah, I think he's got to hit it high on the corner here, right? Yeah. That's exactly where he has to hit it. To get any kind of movement. I don't think so. Can I leave it for him? There is a jump shot uh, from one of those outside stones on the red, the red stone. Uh, all right. One or the other. Sure. Either guard. Ah, let's plug it. I don't think so, you know. Don't think it's there? Yeah, it looks like he, he just... He would just like to play a, a guard in here. Yeah. Yeah. No, he's, no, he's changed yeah. his mind. Yeah. Wants I guess the guard in here. Ah, he's got this up. too, eh? He's got off the seven. Wow. Okay, oh, yeah. time out. <laughs> oh, time out. Reconsideration. <laughs> uh, okay. It's a new book now. <laughs> they were looking at just straight play in the Big Bang, yeah. but you can see off the angle, if they make the shot, it could be for three. Time to... Yep. Take your two timeouts. Take he's one now. Seven. He's got off the three. I don't know if the threes are. There. Yeah, three's probably there too. I think just in case, I would well, like I don't to think we can lean toward. Try to get cute and set up a double and no. get a bunch. That makes it easier. Yeah. This is a lot harder than that. I think I'd, I'd cover the the hit yeah, and let him. Maybe through that. Uh, As you can see behind one. there, you see James yeah, Kirkness talking with his that. dad. Okay. Let's slow down here. Oh, for that, yeah, that's that's Kevin Martin. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's Kevin Martin stuff, he says. <laughs> that's a shot you play. That's playing now. That's for three. This is this is maybe not well, for anything. If you think I can make that, I don't think I can. Do you? No, that's Kirkman's talking to you. Got to to make the pit full. You could easily screw it up. Guard it. Guard it. Okay, I like that center line. Okay. Kathy, what are the rules in terms of coaching? Can a coach talk to a... During a timeout, Jim Kirkness is registered as the official coach of the James Kirkness team, which means that he's not allowed to speak to the team during the course of the game. But if Ron's team or anyone that James is playing calls a timeout, then his team is allowed a timeout, and it was absolutely fair and appropriate that Jim would turn around and talk to James at that time. The decision that they've made is when they look, that's Jim's, uh, James' mom and dad, when they looked at it is that the rock or the stone that they're most afraid of that could cause them the biggest grief is the slash on the red corner guard. So what they're doing now Girl, is guarding the corner guard and leaving oh, him no. what they feel is the draw or That's if they fine. feel if he's Line's got fine. anything off the other rocks. Line's fine. Line's fine. That's good. So they're taking away the Kevin Martin touch. Ah! That's good. That's good. Yeah, and they've done that, I think. Let's hear what these guys say, but I don't think that has uh, other shots there. No. 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 No, I don't think that's gonna go at all. How much can you see? Ask, do you know much I can see, see enough of this shot. For this one here? Yeah. I I just gotta squeak <coughs> by. Well, that? Really? You gotta Actually hit. you need to hit a quarter, don't you? Uh third? What a third. What a third? What a third. That's worth a go. Oh, well, if you could, how much can you see of that glass, Dean? Dean, how much can I see of our red? He's not even considering, Kathy, the shot on the intern side. Not at all at this point, anyway. This but is the shot that they tried to take away. 
Yeah. This is but the Kevin know, Martin shot. But you know, he's so got to be careful he doesn't blow himself out of this what game, too. Then, James. Yeah, that's what I thought. Do you want to normal head. or do you want to keep it up? Oh, I think I'll throw firm. Okay. Okay, you can see what <laughs> he's... going to fall here, eh? Yeah, it's going to fall. He makes it. It's for three. Yeah. But it's got to be so precise. Well, here's the here's the shot here. Oh. He, he wants to hit this. Scoot it over in here to knock out that yeah, shot. Yeah, you just there. need a quarter to make the shot. And even then, he's got to get it maybe at exactly the right no, angle exactly. to hit it to send it go sideways. But a miss, he's down uh, six three. Right. He makes a draw. He's down one. Well, this shot will either yep. Yep. make James Fire. Kirkness Fire. potentially a champion or send him home. Well, he hit the right rock anyway. But it is a steal of one for Ron Goche, and that is a decision that will be talked about for a little while. It is six to three, Ron Goche over James Kirkness in this B-side semifinal. Bob Pickin, thank you very much. Right, Joe, my pleasure, and thank you very much for what you put on the air. In April 2003, they will travel across the globe to the center of the curling universe to renew an annual rivalry known as the Ford World Curling Championships. Can you hear it? Can you feel it coming on? A spirit touching us all together in Winnipeg. This is where the world is one. Now you can spend less time copying and more time doing business thanks to a connected digital office. Yes! Icon! Finally, an efficient copy center that can actually make a CFO happy. Yes, Icon! Imagine printing 1,500 bound manuals in 10 different cities at the last minute. Yes, Icon! When it comes to communicating any kind of business information, imagine what Icon can do for you. The Safeway Select is brought to you in part by Wellington West Capital. Information is free. Knowledge is priceless. The Crocus Investment Fund, bringing your investments home. And by Pepsi Cola, the joy of Pepsi. Where can you find maximum value and great taste? Sweet, sweet. With over 30 Manitoba locations in towns and cities, large and small. Hurry, hurry on. We're your treated just like family and made to feel at home. Hurry, hurry, yep! Chicken Shack, serving up fresh, wholesome meals that always hit the spot. Come on in, the Chicken Shack. We're cooking up something good for you. It's the opening end of the 2001 Safeway Select Championship game. And Harry Burtnick and Dale Duguid are about to set the tone for a terrific provincial final. This is Burtnick's first rock of the end, and Duguid has him in trouble. Duguid lies three yellow counters Harry's with the hammer, there. but Burtnick executes this delicate hit and roll yeah. behind cover to turn the table. Oh, he's, oh, he's got a great shot. He's got a beauty. Oh, oh, oh. sensational shot. Not to be outdone, Duguid replies with an outstanding shot of his own. Burtnick's shot rock is fully buried in the forefoot, but Duguid still finds a way to get at it. He glances off Burtnick's red rock at the top of the 12 to make the oh-so-thin double and jumps out to an early 2-0 lead in the 2001 Safeway Select Final. Under Pressure is brought to you by Wellington West Capital. Information is free. Knowledge is priceless. And by the Crocus Investment Fund. Bringing your investments home. That is a championship final we will not soon forget. Oh, it's fabulous from the word go. Well, a bit of it, we talked about this one, a bit of a gamble there uh, by Kirkness in that last end. Um, it's very, a questionable shot selection yeah. just because not only was it an extremely difficult nice. shot but i think at some point you have to play the board and a draw that's james's <laughs> strength he can put that rock on that safeway s any single time you want him to he has done that 
forever. Uh, the curling community recognizes that that is his strength, and he'll openly profess that's his favorite shot. So that shot to put him within one with lots of game to go and a very strong team versus playing the all or nothing shot. And it was a really, really tough okay, shot. Line's all right. Well, the chances too, actually, when I looked at it after after he tried it, even if he hits it properly, okay. almost right. exactly in there, it, chances are he'd spill one of his other ones out and get maximum two rather than the three. The three was was a one in a million, whereas the two is even difficult in that. You get the two, so you're tied. But uh, you get the one, you're only one down. Mine's good. That, that's six. That's not so bad. But now Ball he's room. got an uphill Ball. fight for him. Wall room. Wait's good. Yep. Wait's really good. Hard. Just slide. Whoa, well, room. if we can, room. James. Whoa. You're gonna move it. Whoa. Whoa. You're gonna move it. Whoa. Whoa. Shot, age. Well, our producer and director, Doug Howe, has a, so a video quiz <laughs> for us. Can you identify that person? <laughs> well, <laughs> uh, I think I have the answer. <laughs> All right, apparently he's a two-sport athlete. And a fine-looking young man. Oh, brother. <laughs> <laughs> brother. Jeez. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Don't tell us if where, you know, Don. <laughs> <laughs> where did you get that? I think we're back to men without shame. <laughs> <laughs> no, he has shame now. <laughs> <laughs> and as uh, Bob Pickens said, styles and everything yeah. were different there. Give us a break. <laughs> oh, oh <my> mackerel. <laughs> well, uh, right. that's uh, Doug Howe's fault. <laughs> Hurry, Is that you, Don? <laughs> hard! Quick! Using that corner guard very nicely. All right, Don, tell us what was that oh, all about? Uh, this, um, uh, this is the schoolboys in 1963, and I was on the schoolboy championship. That's Wayne Johnson, Ed Taylor, Bruce Grant, and our coach, Jack Mutton. And look at that publicity in that, and the styles of change. A fine-looking crew. Is it out of Deer Lodge Curling Club. Look at that. Look at the old sweaters, too. Isn't that fantastic? <laughs> nice work, Doug. <laughs> See what you can find at the library? Oh, you got to go way back in the archives on that one. Lots of rocks in the rings. Three belonging to Ron Gauthier. And one to James Kirkness. Hard! Three! Hard, guys! Hard! And we will update you just a moment on that other B-side semifinal game between Mark Lukowicz and Barry Tall. Yep. Two rocks still to come in that end. See, this is a problem that, that happens when you start to go for it like that. Maybe just get a little panicky a little bit. And now he's, he's in big trouble here against Ron because now Ron's got a shot here to be lying just for. Just normal. I try to get, it, get it all back okay, so quickly. Okay. And Chris Fulcher. Yep. Just about normal. Ah! Looking for the nose hit. Ah! Ah! Whoa! Whoa! Yeah! Yeah! Makes the takeout and the shooter rolls away. But Quickly over to happy. sheet B and the game between Mark Lukowicz and Barry Tall. That's a good shot for Chris Fulcher. Rolling out there is actually all right. It's absolutely all right. And there you see the situation there with Mark Lukowicz yeah. lying too, and Barry Tall just going back now to throw his last rock. You may have heard the applause earlier. Barry Tall made a great shot through a port, removed the shot stone belonging to Lukowicz and rolled over, allowing Lukowicz to see only about half. That was the stone that Mark Lukowicz hit and rolled away. Yep. Yep. Good Hard. shot, but Hard. it does allow Hard. a chance to score one, tie this Hard. game up. Whoa. Yes! Tall Rink continues room. to impress. 
At the end, AJ. Room. At the end, AJ. Oh. Lots of room past that guard. Not even close to. Look at this. Staying out again. The weight. All right, though. Travis. Not bad. What do we got down there? First and second? A little disagreement between uh, the skip and third as to the shot and they've decided now to I guess remove the guard well there what Chris is saying is if we remove the guard we're giving him a short two what the concern is by Ron is that if Chris doesn't make the draw no, he yeah, missed yeah. Everything. oh he just horrible just about got lucky and like that straightens out you get out to it over through it well that doesn't help and that was I all. was all the cause of just they weren't agree in agreement on what shot to play well I think that Chris sitting in the hack is was thinking of a different shot and I think that's where it's really important to take the extra second and the conversation here may be interesting okay folks Sometimes silence speaks louder than no, words. No, this is good. This this is what a mature team does. They're not up. They're upset because of what happened. What Nobody's did, blaming anybody. And if we jet, it, 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 it doesn't matter, does it? It's a harder shot than the draw. I think the draw is the shot. Try to come around top four foot. Top four, top eight. Yeah. Yeah. Only well, thing is, is he might surprise you and go through a guard or something stupid. Like that. Well, well, then I guess you okay. make it run back. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it just yeah looks like they may be just trying to come me around again. That's what James like. James like to not even play in the hit, not worrying the shot stone, but using that corner guard, getting yeah, another stone in there. Was it indicating just ignoring that one and taking oh, a James chance to try to get a big end in here. He'd like three. Certainly, the textbooks would say that if you've got that guard, this is the yeah. way that you yes. score three. Hard, 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 three, hard, guys. Hard, whoa, whoa. Well, I gotta get, gotta get by. Whoa, whoa, age, whoa, age. All right, Travis. Look at it move now. Okay. Not a good shot. Sorry, guys. He had to be Sorry, above the tee line. Yeah, yeah two bad shots by the thirds. That fudged on the way in on you, eh? Well, I, that's tight. Yeah, we had to sweep yeah. there. What? Came out the other side. That's bad. Bad, bad. Well, if we hit it high, it should still roll and we should line it too. Well, it's going to, yeah, it's, uh, okay. I mean, you have to almost hit, uh, but you heard just Travis say on that that he was just a little bit tight. And so because he has yeah. curls, they had to sweep it to get it by the guard. And the problem with that was that it went to the back of the house. And then he got a little bit of another bad break in that they talked about it fudging, where the ice starts to get a little bit soft <laughs> late like in the game, the where all the players are running up and down. Yeah. And so it did that hook to the outside. Yeah, just as it came over the T line, it just went sideways a bit. Bit of a break for Ron here. After that miscue with uh, with Chris, yeah, hit in the nose should do it. Oh, 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 oh. And off. Get ready to sweep the red one. I'm there. I'm there. Hurry! Oh, oh, 
The red one hangs around, but Goche lies three. All right, he's still sitting pretty good. What he wants to do is keep Kirkness down to a one here. That's his goal right now. No. Yours didn't finish either. You had a little lighter weight for me. If you beak it, you get the double and he beaks it. If I make a good come around, he's just gonna guard this. Yeah, well, how about we knows this one? While they discuss that beats, shot, like let's like check in on the other game between Mark Lukowicz and Barry Tall. No. Final rock of the eighth no, end here, and Barry Tall trailing rock. five to four and drawing against yeah, two. No. Navigates the cluster of rocks out in front. And Chris Succi, the Lukowicz third, ready to jump on it and try and sweep it out. But it will stop in time, and Barry Tall picks up one, and they are playing nine, tied at five. You know what we could play, too, is a draw tap. You like that, Dean? What do you like? <coughs> well, is he playing, uh, when we were going over to the other sheet, are they playing the hit, or are they playing the draw? Why? Uh, they're still discussing that. They seem to have an interest in it. You wanna... Just draw a tap to it. So basically he just wants to come down to it and, and move it back and leave it some backing. Hoping to uh, that uh, Goche jams it on his last rock and then he gets his deuce that way. One of the things that they talked about doing was playing around that corner guard where Travis was playing oh, earlier. Oh, Their concern because it's so late in the end, yep. in that Ron oh. only has last rock, is that if he made that really perfect, Ron throws the center guard. Then what do you do? How do you get that out? They want to make sure that they score at least one. Harder! 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 Shut. Kirkness lies one. <coughs> so for Ron, just to hit, do, just to peel is all he's going for here. What? Quite amazed in this game how many times the call of the skip has changed by the time he gets to the hack. Oh, he's, uh... As a rule of thumb, I would say that's not a good thing that we've seen, Joe. I think that regardless of what the call is, that when either the third that's throwing the rock or the skip that's throwing the rock, whoever it is that's throwing the rock, sits in the hack. There should be one shot in their mind. And that's what they're worrying about, executing, yep. not, yep. you know, 14 hard, different hard. varieties. I, I don't disagree with oh, you at all. Oh, just yep. Right up hard. Yep. Yep. Yeah, he's got a great shot. And just misses the one at the back. Goche still lies three. Well, they got away from the, with that, uh, the shot of Fulcher's, but I, you know what? I, I mentioned it earlier, the fact that they didn't I talk. They slipped out of that. Oh, no, I know. I didn't want to do that. I just thought I made it. Pointed it back and it was going to float. <laughs> Not the perfect delivery. Watch the hack position. When he brings his foot back under, he kicks too hard, and you can see a little bit of unsteadiness. I would say if I was scouting Ron, that the big, big weight is not his forte. Some of the Tuckers can throw it really well, like the Jeff Stoutons, but certainly a good recovery and you a might, good result. You might want to talk him? to him later. Are you talking as a coach now? I yeah, know. <laughs> you're telling me he should lose weight? Is that what you're yeah, saying? No, I didn't say that either. <laughs> you guys just trying to get me in trouble here all over the place. <laughs> Oh, well, when he sees the tape, you'll be it? in trouble. Crucial hey, shot yep, here for Curtin is obviously he's got to make this oh, shot. It's curling. Yeah, it's hard. Curling. Whoa. Drop for hey, one needs a piece we'll of the right forefoot. On the right on the button. No oh. line. You got to stop it on the button. Oh. oh. Their question oh. is line, not about weight. He's got fabulous weight. Oh, is he going to go too far? Just sweeping for line. Oh, that's close. Oh, I fine. think he went too far. Uh, I Why think did he that did one too. So much? Yes. So it's another steal. steal of one for Ron Goche. And now the lead has increased to four at seven to three. So a frustrating Saturday for James Kirkness.
When it comes to farm fresh ideas, Granny's knows best. From our family to your family. Granny's Manitoba grown quality chicken and turkey. Farm fresh taste and country goodness, Granny's. The Safeway Select Men's Provincial Curling Championship is brought to you in part by Canada Safeway. Select premium quality. On February 23rd, a whole new galaxy of stars will appear in Brandon, and prime viewing locations are going fast. Scott Tournament of Hearts single-day passes are just $30, or pick up a voucher at Safeway and redeem it only at Ticketmaster in Brandon for an $8 saving. And remember, your ticket also gives you free admission to the renowned Heartstop Lounge. For non-stop fun, don't miss the Scott Tournament of Hearts. Where stars are born See you there. When it comes to farm fresh ideas, Granny's knows best. From our family to your family, Granny's Manitoba grown quality chicken and turkey. Farm fresh taste and country goodness, Granny's. The 2002 Safeway Select was the second appearance at the Provincials for Springfield's Keith McLeod and his first since 1993. McLeod earned his berth at the Select through the city zones and the 49-year-old Skip quickly sent two of Manitoba's hottest young teams to their first defeat. McLeod defeated David Bone in his first game and then edged Mike McEwen 6-4 in his next. Gary Gibb throws third stones for McLeod. Barry Wisniak is at lead, while second man Greg Smith has been paired with the Springfield Skip for the past 15 years. Select Company is brought to you by Wellington West Capital. Information is free. Knowledge is priceless. And by the Crocus Investment Fund, bringing your investments home. And definitely a great run at the Safeway Select for Keith McLeod, defeated in the A-side qualifier by, by Ron Goche, and then losing on the B-side qualifier to Mike McEwen. Jake well, Don, before the game, we talked about the game plan for James Kirkness. Let's find out if he followed it. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, the the emotions there early, we, we saw them. They were starting to get a little upset at each other, that. And we talked about it almost in the first couple of ends. They were, they were starting to get irritated over little things and emotions. And then, well, we talked about maybe in the sixth end there that it just, that was more of an emotional call. We've talked about that as a as a turning point of the game, really. That was a, a gamble, which I would call uh, an emotional call. If he goes for a, a draw, he's down one. Now he's, and then he's forced to really scramble. And this is what's happened in the last couple of innings. Let's wait, age. Is it? Well, that's no fun. It's really pigging when it's going inside of the Sit. Sit, 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 sit. All right. And Kathy, we talked about the game plan for Ron Goche. Well, I thought that he'd have to make the big draws. He hasn't been forced to make a lot of big draws. The points that he's been able to make, we saw it in the sixth end. He made that big freeze that that led to a steal of a point. Stop. Key line calling, he's made the doubles tonight, and the difference between tonight and the other game is not how he's thrown them, but how he's iced himself for them and how they've called him. And his game plan is take it to teams and play aggressively, and I think that he's done that well. James trying to generate some offense. He's down four points, but there are still three ends left to go. Lots of time. Let's go quickly over to the ninth end of the Lukowicz-Tall game. And 
That one is tied at five, and Mark Lukic looking to retain the hammer in the tenth end and looking to blank. And does exactly that. So heading home, they're tied at five, and Mark Lukowicz, your A side winner, will have the hammer. Back on our feature sheet, James trying to generate some offense with that last rock advantage with the corner guard game, and for the Goche team up four points, wanting to eliminate those guards as much as possible and take the play away from the sides. Well, not, a, a not an impossible uh, situation just for the uh, Curtis team. It certainly is very, very difficult for them. They have to get, they'd have to get at least a two and maybe even a three in this end to get themselves back in the game, but at least a two and hope to maybe steal, what? double steal, one off. and one to, to get back into this game. But uh, the way the uh, the Gochi team is playing, it's, it looks uh, pretty tough. And you can see, you know, you look at the body language of the two teams and, and uh, in, in the attitude of the, of the, uh, of the Kirkness team, just maybe a little down right now, whereas the Gochi team, and as I said, last, last in when, when there was a bad shot by Chris Fulcher, uh, they, they just sort of let themselves uh, calm down. They didn't even talk about it, which I think is a, is a sign of a mature team. And another positive sign was the fact that at least Chris Fulcher went down there to potentially face the music if he had to and, and some <laughs> there's of there's no escape and, and, and there's and no some, escape well sometimes i've seen some of the the teams if a player misses a shot he just stays at his own end and never goes down there no but you could see ron they were both upset at the results but there wasn't a blame throw that was the key really whereas in the kirknesses uh, situation in particular you know it's, it's uh, travis graham gets a little emotional out there and he tends to quickly look for some excuses of what happens in that and sometimes blames the, the front end on a little bit of sweeping at times right. just just a, an no emotional bounce. kind of guy yep the reality is that for the life. person that throws yep. the rock that misses that doesn't need to be told no. that they've <laughs> missed they're pretty they're pretty <laughs> yeah, darn clear sure. on that <laughs> yeah. no no leave it short that was reminiscent of the usakis melischuk kind of uh, yes <laughs> yeah, so vintage stuff yeah those guys they were the best Oh, they, they'd never say anything. No, well, or too much. <laughs> <laughs> no, they were the, they're the best at that. They're they're fantastic. Saw Oris this week playing third for the Newfeld team. And he looked and, great. Oh, he looked great, but lots of fire still. There's no yeah. doubt that he's playing here and he's playing to win. And he's kept himself in good shape. It's like all of the the older guys out here. Good shot, removes the stone, also takes away the corner. But I didn't realize that uh, Chris had been with uh, Ronnie for six years. Chris? I guess they hadn't popped yeah. into the uh, appearance at the select as much as often as they would like to, but they're certainly making up for it right now, aren't they? Well, their first year, that was uh, they lost the B-side final, and then they went into hiatus. Drought, as it were. <laughs> they went into a lot of things, none of them Clean including it. the select. Clean it. Wall room. Okay, whoa, well, no bounds. Freeze age. Whoa. Well, Ron Goche's first appearance no at the bounce. select was 1988 yeah, in Morton. Hard. Hard. He had a good run Quick. there. 88, 89, 90. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No bounds. No bounds. No bounds. Oh boy, good shot. There's a good shot. There's a great shot. Very nice shot. Boy, that's a that's a perfect shot. Good guys. That one took off. A little too, bit right? of separation there. You can see from the overhead. Control, Travis, that a boy. I don't know if he gets uh, just a little corner on there, he'd probably jam it out, but boy, he's got to get it pretty thin to get it out. Anything like from a half, he'll probably probably stick around on the side, but uh, you can see Chris is uh, doing a little housekeeping over on that side. Yeah, quarter rock. <clears throat> yeah, a little better angle there, yeah. It's right a quarter. And obviously he wants to spill them all out. He doesn't want to leave anything back. Pretty difficult to get uh, that thing pick it up without getting the back one anyhow. Hard! 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 It's the nose hit. 
Yeah, just obviously uh, inside when he let it go. And for Chris, you could see the woe call was a good call when it was obvious that he wasn't going to play it out. Chris hoping it's going to curl enough to just hit it on the nose. Yes. Yeah, but if he hits him. Well, he hits his stick, so he'll be high enough you can bang, bang yourself, right? No, I was thinking if he hits some holes here. Then we're in trouble. And then we're here. Well, we'll be in trouble then. Well, he'll have to draw right here. Do I call a timeout? Yeah. Timeout. Using their second of two. Team's allowed 73 minutes and two one-minute timeouts. If he could just tap it on the angle. And then he couldn't play that. Yeah. Yeah. That James Kirkness coming down and <laughs> jumping over the boards to get to to the team. Well, you gotta give him something. I mean, you gotta make sure you get two here. Yeah. So I would just I would just tap it back. If you get close to the guard. Okay. You can rub off it. Uh, like the top yellow. Hit it maybe. Yeah. 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 That's right. Just trying to tap it on the angle. We, we got to try to keep it on this angle or else he'll just... Um, yeah. That look like enough. Looks like plenty. I would imagine at this point, Ron Gauthier is pretty well conceded. James Yeah, Kirkness, give me more. The deuce. Won't hurt him. And it, it's not that it yeah, what do you, would hurt him all that. What he <laughs> wants to do is, is come down here, tap this this back into here, so that if Ron goes after the double, he would jam it onto his back one. They want, that's why they're saying they want to keep it on that angle a little bit. It's just straight draw weight. Draw weight. What's the weight, Adrian? You can see right now the Goche team does lie one second shot belonging to the Kirkness team doesn't want to play any weight at this needs to stick around for sure wanting to be oh, lying yep. one and two yep yep whoa whoa whoa, whoa. 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 line's great whoa whoa, whoa. whoa. let it come down whoa. let it come down guys let whoa. it come down a lot of whoa. weight yep no yes no that's why didn't that curl yeah just the Wait, and as they said, just near the end there, wow. just stayed, it stayed straight on him. You're going to hit it too thin. You might as well try to... Why didn't that curl? I don't know. It's just the way it's going. <laughs> and it ran absolutely straight. Guess we should have took the extra Oh, he's got... Yeah, he's just... Just simply, he just, he just wanted to jam this, get the double, both of them out. He could actually hit either way. Actually, is he is he throwing which which rock is he throwing at the center rock or the outside rock? I think he's throwing the out turn. He's throwing the in turn. <laughs> <laughs> you know him so well. <laughs> the end result should be the same. No, oh, he's got it. Great shot. Nice shot. And now all James Kirkness has is a hit for one. Well, as long as James gets it on the uh, on the high side here, he's he's got his one. See any anywhere on on this side of the shot, he's okay because he would roll over over into the uh, the other one here for shot, so not a problem. Of course, he can't afford to go across the face of the rock and roll, and he gives up another steal. And I would suggest that they would shake hands. Clean, yep. Oh, clean. Yep, yep. yep. Oh, clean. Final rock here in, the, in number eight. Shot. Nicely done. And James Kirkness forced to take one. Gives up control of the hammer. And it's now seven to four for Ron Goche as we head to nine of the Safeway Select beside semifinal. Where can you find maximum value and great taste? Sweet! Sweet! 
with over 30 Manitoba locations in towns and cities, large and small. Hooray! Hooray! Where you're treated just like family and made to feel at home. Hooray! Hooray! Yep! Chicken Shack, serving up fresh, wholesome meals that always hit the spot. Come on in, the Chicken Shack. We're cooking up something good. The Safeway Select Men's Provincial Curling Championship is brought to you in part by Manitoba Public Insurance, Don't Drink and Drive, and by Icon Office Solutions, the way business gets communicated. Moncton Briar, Manitoba's Bill Walsh looks to be in trouble against Ontario's Alfie Phillips. 13th and 6-6 tie, Walsh makes what has been written as the greatest shot in Briar history as he gets by the guard, then gets a corner of the Ontario stone, and the shooter sticks around the ring for the winning point and the Briar victory for Bill Walsh. Champions is brought to you by the 2003 Ford World Curling Championships, April 5th to 13th, 2003 in Winnipeg, where the world is won. And definitely one of the great shots in Briar history. And if you want to see the rock that Billy Walsh threw, just uh, head up to the second floor of the Fort Rouge Curling Club. Actually, that it's amazing. Every time I see that shot, that looks like it's going to roll out and it just it hangs on the edge there. I was just going to say that that video really amplifies the difference in ice conditions. And the brooms. <laughs> well, that's how you started, isn't it, Don? Oops. Yeah, actually. We <laughs> saw that in the paper yeah. clipping earlier. There's no getting out of that. Yeah, no, I can't. I can run, but I can't hide. I'll tell you. And I couldn't play basketball either. <laughs> Which had good hair. It's the times. It was the Fonz. <laughs> See the situation in our game is AJ. Yeah, Larden. Clean. Clean it's it. Good. Clean it. James Kirkness in a situation. Yep. He has to steal himself go. back. Wait, it's good. In this one. Line's good. Yep. Wait, it's really good. Mine's good. Perfect. It's really good. Hard. Hard. Right to the floor. Hard. Well, let's jump over a couple of sheets and pick up the final two rocks in the 10th end here with Mark Lukowicz and Barry Tall. Mark Lukowicz with the hammer. Barry Tall with his last rock of this 10th end. He has the long guard out in front and He's going to try and force Mark Lukowicz to draw for the win. Well, he is indeed. This is all that he's got. They tried to force the end a little bit in nine. It just didn't happen. And Mark Lukowicz was able to peel it out to keep that last rock coming home. And so whoa. he's got at least one guard in play trying to whoa. hide behind it. Yep. Yep. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. How's his weight here? It looks a little warm. They haven't laid a brush to it. In no, fact, the sweepers looks, uh, have left the building. He's going to be in there, but it's, boy, that's dying nicely. Boy, that died fast. Yeah. That's where you really see amplified what happens coming home with the fudging late in the game. That rock came to yeah, a screeching halt. It, to on. me, it looked like it was almost going to be into the back 12, at least back eight. Well, and the player stopped at the hot oh, yeah, exactly. Nobody was even with him. But basically, it's, uh, it's wide open and away for Mark. That long guard is 
is really not in play just follows down exactly what Barry did on that one. Well we've seen more in this select Mark Lukowicz making hits to win. Likes the hit game and there's no the doubt game. about that. And but he's certainly capable of both Joe. But he hasn't had to play too many of these with the game on the line. This week anyway. And this is to extend the winning streak to seven and put him one win away from the Purple Heart. You hear no backing in the background. It's oh, coming over nicely. Now oh, he's got it. Now is it over curling oh, though? No. Does he have enough? Yes, Whoa, he does. Just. just. <laughs> oh boy, did that uh, slow down fast. Same with Barry's. So the tremendous run of Mark Lukowicz continues. And the tremendous select for Barry Tall from Swan River comes to an end, but by only inches, maybe less. Six five the final in that B side semifinal. So we'll see Mark Lukowicz in the B side final tomorrow morning at 9.30. You'll see that game live on Global. Will he be playing Ron Goche or James Kirkness? That could be decided in this end. Two and a half way? Yeah. That's fine. James Kirkness only down three points. Right. Just wants to keep picking away yeah, at it. it. Ron has last rock, but you know, you steal one Let here, you steal one there. Let it die, age. Conditions will change a little yeah. bit with the only other game leaving some of the fans of those people will be leaving as well and so it's not over by a long shot James has played this game well enough long enough to know that okay lots of game to go still here Joe Ronnie looking at the angle there if you hit that you may just go for that uh, the front rock or just go for a pick just normal okay still lies one. That ovation for Barry Tall and a fabulous run at this year's select. Yeah, yeah. he did put on a great show. There's no doubt about it. He made uh, many sensational shots. Okay. Just halfway, right here, guys. Fine percentages Whoa. still for so the uh, Kirkness team. Oh, it's got a curl. Line's fine, just halfway, guys. Well, and that oh, rock in the 12 foot is acting as a guard for yep. them. Chris trying to remove both yep. of those stones, getting rid of yep. one, hard, the other one hard, going to the back hard. of the house. Hard, hard. Hard, guys, a little bit more. Trying to get it in there. It's up with the guard. Let's get her. Let's cross it this way, Ronnie. What? Cross it that way onto the yellow. Oh, Chris is pulling well, out some turkey shots here. Okay. <laughs> Chris wanting to remove both if he's got yeah. that option. Well, and also the yellow back onto the red of the back That's there. That's there what as he's, well. Yeah. yeah. Get the too much weight. Yeah, it doesn't move up at all, but no. still peels the guard. Good shot, gets rid of the guard. Looking ahead to tomorrow morning, if it does happen to be Ron Goche who plays Mark <coughs> Lukowicz, Kathy, you pointed out an interesting point. It was Mark Lukowicz who beat Ron Goche out for that city's own spot. 
It's true, Mark Lukwich and Ron were in the same city yeah, zone this year. Ron winning the A side, Mark winning the B side and the AB game, which forced Ron into the MCA, and that's how they got here. Yeah, I'm just wondering what order we should go in. Ah, this is good. Let's wire one. Got to finish two ends, though, before that's even a stat. Joe? Here's the problem said, here potentially. For, for Kirkness. You can see yes. it's 61%. Uh, not, not a vintage uh, Kirkness game here. Now, James is a very, very strong player, and our expectations from him are very high because he's proven yep. that he can yeah. play at that very high level. Hard! Hard! Quick! Room! Room! Room, guys! Room! Line's great! Oh, if you can! Oh, if you can! Oh. Just at the end. Yep! 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 yep. Hard! Yes! Just staying out on him. All right. Okay. Ice is straightening up. Oh, what do you do, eh? Coffee. Oh, there's a big difference. It's at an outstanding game. Just firm. Okay. Don't do much here. A good throw there. Not at all. Oh. Definitely far inside. That didn't pick. He just did not throw it well. Yeah, that was that was gone as soon as he let it go. Well, watch the hand release. Just pointed it straight in. And even though it runs straight, when you point it, you don't have much of a chance. Great chance for the Kirkness yeah. team. Where'd I have last time? That's where you hit last yeah. time. Is that? But if he makes the double, a AJ, AJ, if we put it here and he makes the double, we're shot rock back here. He's got to get all three. He's hitting anyway. So why not draw the wing? Yeah, but if we up a double? no, not necessarily. If we tap though, AJ, he, it's a because right now he can nose this for what? Yeah, you can't do that. Okay. We got to play a tap. Right. He's not gonna miss an open hit. Little more ice. <coughs> but we want to try to come across the face a little bit, AJ. Realistically, the goal of the Kirkness team is to steal two points at one point. Just wants to tap this, tap this up a bit up into this area to lie three. And the reason they're playing the tap is, as they say, is that right now, the way it stands, if Ron hits it right on the nose, he gets shot. They want to promote that stone so that he's going to have to make the double, <coughs> and then he may not even be counting one because of the stone at the back. It's a good call. It's their best chance. Line's good. Wing's good. Well, if you can. Now you have to put theory into yep. practice. Oh, yep. Yep. Whoa. 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 Line's great. He's got to come up. Yep. Yep. Hard. 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 Quick. Hard, guys. Quick. Whoa. 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 Shut. Shut. Nicely done. That's an excellent rock. Well, this is an interesting call. I, uh, I don't, do, I, Kathy is having a bit of a heart attack here. We, uh, I don't think we agree with this shot, do we? Well, he's calling for the draw. I don't no, think James Kirkness expected that. No, I, I, I'm a little, I, I'm quite surprised at this because he hits the, he hits the front one on the nose. He's, he's got a double and the worst he can give up is is one you know like he even if he gives up a deuce he's still one up this way if he misses the draw i mean he can tie it coming home well they're going to talk about the ice i think he should hit don't you Kathy? Yeah, give me are you prepared to uh, say something here 
<clears throat> sure. <laughs> now that you're I, pulling it up again. I am, I'm not surprised that he's playing this shot. This is typical of what Ronnie normally does, that yeah. he doesn't play to concede points. Touch Having last said ball. that, he's yeah. up three points right. in the B-side semifinals of the Safeway Select. Eliminate, eliminate. And sometimes you have to play the board. Yeah, yeah. Four, you just eliminate four, here. Four, you, you hit that rock on the nose, you got your double. You can, you can hit the double either way on the front one. Mind well, you, he'll fool us and draw his, Well, his pot, attitude yeah. is very simply that as long as he hits eight foot, he may give up a point. When I talked about his game plan, I talked Close. about how he sets things up when he doesn't have last yeah. rock right, to have to make whoa, whoa. the last shot. Let it work. Oh, line's real good now. No. Let it work. No, 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 no line, 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 no line. Oh, 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 oh. Right. No, so he concedes good. one. Yeah. Nice draw. Yeah. Nice. It is a nice draw. I'm a little surprised. So James Kirkness has one of the three points that he needed. They think it's, it's now yellow. seven to five. Those people probably think it's yellow. Yeah, I think it's nice, but we couldn't afford the rub. No. Tenth end to come. It's a two-point game. Ron Goche in front. When it comes to farm fresh ideas, Granny's knows best. From our family to your family. Granny's Manitoba grown quality chicken and turkey. Farm fresh taste and country goodness. Granny's. As morning breaks in communities all across Canada, Robbins helps you start your day with our special blend coffee. A full bodied brew, guaranteed fresh on the first taste, or we'll replace it. And Robbins mealtime combos and freshly prepared subs are welcome anytime. At work, or at play. Part of your community. You always get a break at Robin. The Safeway Select Men's Provincial Curling Championship is brought to you in part by Granny's Poultry, Manitoba grown quality and freshness, and by Manitoba Blue Cross, the color of caring. A thousand dollar check, Mr. Brown. Thousand dollar check, Mr. Brown. Fantastic! Your thousand dollar check, Mr. Brown. Fantastic! The new Set for Life Lottery. What would you say to a thousand dollars a week for 25 years? A thousand dollar check, Mr. Brown. Fantastic! A thousand dollar check, Mr. Brown. A thousand dollars a week for 25 years. Play Set for Life now at your lottery ticket center. When it comes to farm fresh ideas, Granny's knows best. From our family to your family. Granny's Manitoba grown quality chicken and turkey. Farm fresh taste and country goodness. Granny's. Safeway Select player profiles are brought to you by the Crocus Investment Fund, bringing your investments home. We are coming home in this. B-side semifinal of the Safeway Select here in Nipawa, here at the Yellowhead Center. Joe Pascucci, Don Finkbeiner, yeah, Kathy Goche, here to bring you Wayne. all the curling this weekend. And we know that Mark Lukowicz from Valor Road will be in the B-side final tomorrow morning at 9.30. There's the time, Joe, left on the Team Kirkness clock. That's not a lot of time, particularly that this team is going to have to be throwing all draws, all guards, 24 second ice. Those things take time to complete. No, that's a good point, uh, Kathy. They, they have to sort of play the draws and, and try and keep as many rocks in play as possible here so they can't play a fast end, they can't throw hits. trying to play the little tick. Oh, right over. Right oh, over. great That's shot. That's a nice shot. Very nice right. shot. Beauty. I thought he's had a fantastic week. Nothing we can do about it. There. Too bad Jim's getting his quarters. AJ Gallardin. That's right, AJ. We'll put up another guard. Clean it, clean it, clean it. Yep. Thanks, we've been up and pounding it. 
You've been faking? Hard. Shot age. That a boy, AJ. Good throw. So for James, wanting to generate some offense, get some guards up. Good pair by AJ. Called it early, hoping to hit it a little bit thinner to Great make over. the double. That's a good shot. Atta boy. Atta boy, And the shooter sticks around, not hitting the side boards. Five thirty-five on the clock for James Kirkness. Even him up. Yep. No, it's not even it up. Yep. James saying even him up, wanting to put okay. them as flat as possible. Doesn't want to create any chances Shot. for a double peel. Stay close. Yep. Yes. Whoa. Yep. Good try, Debbie. Just misses that other Kirkness stone. And again, put another one up <coughs> in front. Yep. Back. It's got to go, AJ. Ah, it's got to go. Help. Got to get this over the hog line. OK, leave it high. Even on. Okay. All right. Good throw. All right. It's a good sweepy to get that one over there, just about. 432 versus eight minutes. That's probably where you want to be. Usually each team has someone designated to watch the score, the, not the score clocks, but the time clocks. And decide where you want to be. Both teams always want to have about eight minutes going into the last awesome. end so that you can take your time and make the decisions that you need to make. Cut. Well, not only that, they're not even ready to throw now, too, so that's uh, kind of interesting. It is indeed. <laughs> throw one more up. Uh, Kirkness thinking about coming in. Travis what Graham you... thinking about playing another guard. What? Think we can fit four behind here? <laughs> yeah. You want to throw a guard, one more guard? Then we better throw our next one's perfect. 348 on the clock. Whatever you want to do, James, up to you. Decision is when to go okay. in. They keep talking about four. I need to remind you that they're only down. They're talking about playing to win, but you don't have to win by two. They're only down, in fact, two points. Two points gets them a tie. Halfway.